Linda is doing fine. Um, uh, Linda the game is fine. Linda the character. A um, lot of things happened. <laughs> She's doing a, a Ray and Ami. Yeah, she's absolutely cute. <laughs> but yeah, uh, she's in jail for uh, allegedly killing someone. Oh, so we have an evil twin. And now we still have to capture animals. <laughs> I just need to close the window. So yeah, there was a whole ass cutscene. Anime cutscene. How about how uh, a, s a man dressed in Santa, a Santa, was actually our evil twin. And uh, our amnesia girlfriend uh, has killed someone, I think. It went crazy in the last 15 minutes of the stream. I guess I can show it. Game is alright. Can I love Pokemon? Lots of waiting though for uh, voicemails. Mm. No, this is my. <laughs> Damn, once again, uh, couch uh, toxic. Huh? That's the stream, that's not me speaking. What's going on here? Hello code effects. So that's what happened in the last 15 minutes of the stream. What? His name is Ken. Now we have Nick. Pretty much good. ご苦労さんとか大変だったねとか感謝の言葉はねえのかよ。まあいいや。なんせ俺たちはこの世でたった二人きりの兄弟だもんな。仲良くしようぜ兄ちゃん。おっきた。早くしろ。おいでだ。
ではお二人さんに祝福のあらんことをメリークリスマス Okay, basically, that's what happened in the last 15 hours.、Um, we have an evil twin who killed、uh, our birth father. And、uh, now Linda has been framed. And、uh, I don't know what's happening with Linda, man. So, what's my tabs? Oh, shit. Okay. How soon is this real enough story? Not too much, I hope.、Mm. I think here, I think should be fine. Sorry. So, yeah, now you are up to date to a story. The last six hours of a stream was just catching Pokemon. s And by Pokemon, s I mean <laughs> fucking Eldritch Horrors. So, yeah, real RPG hours. While Couch is being a hater of Rebirth. Let's switch game.、Uh, I'm good, I'm good, man. I have. Unicorn Overlord soon. Asked around if Unicorn Overlord had Ubisoft Towers, but they couldn't tell me. Feel bad for anyone who thinks you'll be nicer to rebuff after you play it. <laughs> Did anyone say that? This is my save. Tell me some good music. Ooh, oh. hey, maybe I like it, you know. Never know. You never know. Maybe you are the real hater and I still have my sense of wonder and, and I love life. <laughs> so, this is why、uh, this is what happened. I think Rebirth is fun in the sense that it's like、uh, a game with like good vibes, you know? You hang out with characters and stuff, you know? Lots of mini games, lots of.、Uh, just messing around. But I'm here. Play RPGs for the plot, man. I play RPGs for the themes. For the deeper appreciation, right? That's why I'm playing Linda Cube. Okay, let's see if there are things to capture.
Apparently the game is faithful. Rebirth is faithful. To some degree, right? Which... I don't think I wanted this to happen. After the ending of Remake, I wanted it to be like... Just go hard. <laughs> Capture rabbit boys and girls and bees. <laughs> Don't worry, Linda Cube uh, has all the weirdness. See, this is a rabbit. Okay, just fucking delete this car, these rabbits. Was scattered. Basically, if you hit them too hard, you cannot capture them, they just blow up. I've been told the rebuff has the magic, right? FF7 magic, right? There's... What the hell is this? Lina's Towers. I'm scared. Get me my dogs back. I love how I've played this for like seven hours and my party members are like dogs. The good thing about this game is that it doesn't have random encounters. Holy shit. <laughs> I was about to say my goats. My, my dogs are very useful. Except when they hit too hard and then animals just blow up. Nice. Two gold. I didn't expect I would find a dungeon out of nowhere. Ba -da -da -da. Ah yeah, if you sprint you lose HP. I forgot to tell you. Real RPG hours. Dogs out of here. 
Mm. Can I get my, my dogs back? Yeah, basically, I think it is some kind of spaceship, right? Basically, God gave us uh, Noah's Ark. So I'm thinking that, like, Linda and Ken are basically... Adam and Eve. Figuratively. Especially since, like, God wanted a man and a woman. And since, basically, every animal you need, like, a male and female to put into the ark. Basically, these two are also, like, quote-unquote animals to, to enter the ark, right? To be preserved. Hello Sinzu by the way, sorry sorry, and hello Digit. <laughs> Feel like I enjoy Rebirth for the same reason I enjoy Remake. But I'm in a third map into the same open world crappy holiday workbook. Yeah, you should focus on the story, right? Um, it's the same thing with open worlds, right? The same, the first 10 hours. The best thing you have ever played. And then after that, it's like looking into work. So it's better to focus on the story, I think. Well, except Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, I like, fucking loved Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, but Nintendo, like, sued the Yuzu emulator. Fuck, it's so jovial. Telomorphy. I feel like there's enough filler in the main story. I don't even know if it has a plot, uh, Rebirth, right? <laughs> All I've seen is like follow the Europe people. I guess we're going to follow them and like the city of the ancients. Like I said, I'm a plot guy, right? I want plot, I want themes, I want like things to think about, right? And Rebirth hasn't convinced me that it would be stimulating in this way. It's like more like a... The Kingdom Hearts in Plot Structure. Well, you are the Kingdom Hearts expert, so you're allowed to say. In the sense that like... Uh, the Disney Worlds are like filler and then... The story fucking... <laughs> Starts at the end, <laughs> fucking revs up at like. Five thousand miles per hour. Yeah, 
yeah, right, even if you have 7, we say, oh, we expanded on this, we expanded on that, you know. I'm glad he expanded, but like, you know, there's a reason, you know, you move on, right? The pacing of FF7, you know, you I don't have to spend 10 hours in Costa del Sol, right? He does the job for what it is. You get some comedic moment and then... You keep going for like the important parts of the story. I'm concerned a bit about Final Fantasy in general because, like, seems like people don't want to be like engaged, to s like, they just want good vibes, they just want to come back to the old Final Fantasy, but like, the old Final Fantasy, it was good vibes and the story was fucking amazing and like the plot was like a huge part and the themes were like incredible we weren't just playing around right Final Fantasy 9 uh, you can say it has good vibes and then you know a fucking village gets nuked and it's centered around death you know the fear of death you know sacrifice and stuff uh, the thematic problem it, like, it seems like nowadays it's like no one gives a fuck about things like this, right? So if I play Rebirth and I've banged down, there's no fucking plot. And it's some kind of fucking MCU shit at the end where the game wakes up at like the last hour of the game it's like I'm going to be mad man Murphy don't listen to him couch is a hater uh, by choice <laughs> Dude was playing like fucking 13 hours a day and now it's just telling me uh, I don't want to play today. He's like, what the f Are you kidding me, man? Playing the Unicorn Overlord, yeah. I'm so excited. I pre ordered. I never pre ordered, but I got. Uh, Yeah, I don't like it either. Um, some weird things are happening. I've become Squidman. So 
So what am I missing? I need uh, three frogs. Uh, female, right? Tanuki. Why even have uh, the, the hooded figures then? Right? Why don't they just move? Why don't the story just move? Uh, makes the characters move along, right? In the original, like, there, wasn't, like, there wasn't like hooded figures in Costa del Sol uh, just taking a, a pit stop, right? <laughs> this shit showed up at like around Nibelheim, right? in the original having toxic masculinity is like are you what the fuck are you even saying what toxic masculinity is like the sweetest guy in ff7 <laughs> Yeah, it was also Barrett Dine was also incredible in the, the original. Look, I'm a hater of things, okay? I'm not that much into remakes. I think the remake I enjoyed the most was like Resident Evil 4 remake. I remember I was very excited about Resident Evil 2 Remake, but... Sid the Wife Peter. I don't know how we can say the... Barrett Toxic Masculinity in the origin, but... Pure... Pure revisionism, but... Oh shit, six years remaining. Bro, my girlfriend has been missing for like two years. Recently, to remake, I was very excited. And I think we made decisions that I don't really like at the end of the day, even though I really enjoyed it. The music is fucking gone from this game. Music of the original Resident Evil 2 is like fucking amazing, incredible stuff. And they decided, oh, the music, uh, we're not going to have any music in the remake. What is insane is that Ada's theme, which comes from Resident Evil 2, is not in Resident Evil 2 remake, but it is in Resident Evil 4 remake. <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad that Resident Evil 4 remake remembered to have good music into the game. Where am I? Ah, so, I don't know why they decided to expand the sewers most of all. Out of all the areas they could have expanded the most, they expanded the sewers of Raccoon City. 
get the fuck out of here, man. This was the best part of every game. I just ask uh, FF7 remake. Man. See, we are haters at heart. Thankfully, there are no sewers in Ninja Cube. There are horses, though. Look at these horses, man. Don't talk about Silent Hill, I'm going to put the story, uh, the video in a game. Japanese fiction is full of men crying, Kiryu, yeah, yeah. I mean, even then, you know, the original Barrett is like... This is why I don't like remakes. It's like... We, we are doing revisionism about the original game, it's like... No one with long hippo turtles and polar bears. パンハイモだがね。例の薬用意できたよ。それと相手のパックに2個ほど空きを作ってきてくれると、ありがたいんだがね。それじゃ、待ってるよ。Mm. I don't even remember how many... Animals I need to catch to complete this scenario. Because yeah, there's a time limit where you have to capture like... I don't know, 30, 40 animals? And there are three scenarios, so... Did I capture dolphins? Earthbound fan excited to play the game for the first time. Bro, Yakuza 3, I fucking cried myself. Say what you will about Yakuza 3, but they got me. <laughs> they fucking got me. <laughs> fucking cried. I wish I didn't play the Yakuza series because I would have loved to play them on stream, but I'm not replaying them again. Well, I'm going to replay Yakuza 7 and then do Gaiden and then 8. I prefer 3 over 4 and 5, gonna be honest. Having too many characters never didn't help the series. Honestly. finish section. I mean, I'm glad because it gave us Akiyama and Sejima and 
these two, right? But having more than two characters didn't help. And I think Yakuza 7 being an RPG is probably the best realization of the Yakuza formula. Because instead of having each chapter being a different characters, it's a JRPG party so everyone needs that together, right? And I think it's the best way to deal with having multiple characters. Damn. We didn't get a new uh, calendar. Or oh, 5, I burned out so much. I did the hunting minigame and then I fucking bum rushed that shit. Uh, 5 CTs. You will never catch me. いんだがいなくなる直前にホスピトでお前を見たというものが言うらしい。まさかと。一応お前の口から来たってな。お前じゃないな。完璧なアリバイだな。お前と同じ顔したやつがもう一人いるわけか。この前聞いた双子の弟
dog. I'm gonna play the game yourself, I'm okay. We're here for uh, vibes. <laughs> so far, there are three scenarios to this game. Well, the first one. I don't know if the other scenarios are like continuations or like different continuities. But yeah, this is the first scenario. Merry Christmas. Our evil twin was dressed as Santa. The Captain Secretary Emily went through six younger guys this year alone. Again, it's only a rumor. Thank you very much. I really wanted to know this. some money. The only, the only thing about this game is that sometimes you just have to wait for someone to send you a voicemail. Fuck Unicorn Overlord. The slander is stronger than actual goatees. Thank you for your sacrifice. Uh, should I play the American Anthem? <laughs> Sad American Anthem. Don't forget to look for Ubisoft Towers, okay? I literally said 10 out of 10, no question if Genesis shows up. If he doesn't, then I will have to judge this game uh, on honest terms. What the hell is happening? Konnichiwa. Ojama shitemasu. Santa Linda? Ochi no mae no blanco de neteta nda yo. 
このかっこでさわたしはこしがぬけちまったよこんなにドキドキしたのはとうさんからプロポーズされていらいさまあそれはおいといてどうするんだいけんリンダは手配されてるんだろことがことだけにベンにも話せないし厄介だねえ。<笑> up, すみません。私のためにご迷惑かけて。何言ってんだいリンダ。水臭いこと言うんじゃないよ。私は赤ん坊の頃からお前さんを知ってんだよ。危ない遊びをした時には。なんぐったことだってあるんだだからわかるんだよリンダお前さんはね人をあやめたりできるようなそんな子じゃないってねべーよりによって間の悪い時に来る男だねおしずもしくだいミーム俺だってこいつらのことは花たるの頃から知ってるさだからミームこうしようやちょっと耳を貸してくれやでなそんな無茶なまあ最後まで聞けってなるだろうベンタラワッドヒョヒョヒョヒョヒョ仕上げにわかったわべんそれはおもしろいわ。なるだろうもうおばさまったらうひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひょひ行こうかねリンダトワンピステップなんだ何か言いたそうだなミームに任しときな何すぐ戻ってくるって What do you mean? She's a ranger now. But somebody call you good. Then you're tying on any home of the Shimei to high hunt this person. Oh, that you must have just done. As a Maria Chinette. Casa no Shiro to Kanga Kamushire Nakedo. You don't know Basho or Linda and Missa Dokane. Ata Tatino, Omoide no Basho, sir. So Seva. Um, what happened to Linda? She. Her entire town, village, everyone disappeared overnight, and she was the only survivor. And she lost her memory in the process. And we don't know. I actually don't know much about the reception, since it was Japanese only. No, she's part of the party. Level 3! Level 3! 
最近物忘れが激しくてなリンダに会ったことも忘れたしユニフォームのことも忘れちまったな何かトラブった時は一人で苗までにすぐ戻ってこいよ俺が何とかするいいなそういえば思い出したよ子供の頃ケンが鼻の穴を広げて得意げに話してたよオズポート公園にはリンダと俺と二人だけの秘密があるんだってそう言ってたよ She's going to die a lot, man. ドタコロヴォーゲンイエーンもっとそばで見ていいこのブランコなんだかケンそっくりねぶっきらぼうで暖かくてオビアホジンヘンスこのブランコに乗ってるだけですごく幸せな気分になるのここでよっぽどいいことがあったのね何かしら早く思い出したいわそうそうあの時も私今みたいに剣をぶったのよ<笑>えっとどうしたの剣<笑>ね。Should we check Minago? Ozport Coen Nikumani, Hakobune, Sorito Watashinochi, Minago Nyarin de Show? Treated the credit? I'm glad the story is progressing now. So we captured 22 species.
30 species. And we have 22 species. Okay, we're not that far. That's real. The mystery is deepening. Oh no, this is uh, oof. I wish I had something to say about the oof. Well, we are God speci specifically asked for a man and a woman. Basically, a man and a woman are tasked to get all the animals, and then only them can um, start this arc to lift off. It's here. Commandment one male, one female, two by two by two, should spur this arc with all the pilots. Signed. God. See, he signed. So that's our house. But we <laughs> 18 damage. I'm 
Okay, stop, stop. I want to die. She broke legs and arms. あの後私の代わりにケンがジョンのママにぶたれたのよ。覚えてる？俺がやりました。ごめんなさいって。ケンが言ってくれたのよ。ケン？いつもありがとう。We didn't marry yet. Just childhood friends. That are now fated to. to become pilots of the Ark. I mean, Ken just wanted to join the Ark because Linda was already chosen. Santa Claus. Did they get kidnapped by Santa Claus? Living in sin. They're basically like childhood friends, but like they're goofing around in a flirty way. So basically everyone in this village disappeared. And she lost her memory, but if she gains her memory, we can know what happened here. He took me here. Can you remember? Put a put a necklace here. Uh, it's the TCU. That's where he stores. Uh, it's like the Pokemon bag, right? Where you store Pokemon balls. Pokeballs. Pokemon balls. something. Mm. 
the secret thing we had to get on. Oh. Here, I'm sure it's here. Yeah, isn't <laughs> カードネームズ。これを書いたの私よね。だって、あの時ケンタラまだ自分の名前も書けなかったのよ。そう。私が書いたんだわ。ねえ、ケン、わかる?私思い出したのよ。まだほんの少しだけど。他にも何か書いて
trying to find was the shop. Ah, shit. Soon, maybe I'll get enough life insurance of him to afford it. Nice. Diamond ring, five hundred thousand. Look, I like you, but. Do you want me to pay for this? Well, I'm not going broke for like a ring. I'm doing a safe state just to see if like if I even have enough money. Apologies sir, but did you forget a zero or two? Okay, you're getting a toy ring, man. I don't know what to say. How's it going? Give me this. Rebirth Honeymoon Face has kinda worn off. What do you mean? Is this like the slander chat of River? The only place where we can talk shit about River? Your honeymoon Face has worn off. Okay, it's time, it's time. Uh, let's put some rave music, right? Okay. C'est Katsi. Katsi is one of the most fun characters I ever played. Really? the game I really do honestly there's too many games okay unicorn overlord dragon's dogma 2 that's already two months of my life
Main mission, big open area, main mission, big open area, mini games. Look, uh, real Final Fantasy is mini games, okay? In card games. You don't know what you're saying. Hello Josh Rafias, thank you for the subscription, thank you, thank you very much. Good morning, good evening to you. Tell what, just use this phone, okay. Look, this is my bank card. What the? Wages? Oh, this is Paul. Ouais, Wilker, compare toi Oji. Wedding gifts. Luxury Goon. Even if you save for 100 years, you couldn't afford this knowledge of salary. Game of trilogy is stupid. Well, I wish we were making FF17 and FF18 and FF. Uh... No egg. If you donate to charity, then please call me charity.
what am I supposed to do next? Space shuttle to leave. Bon, my project finally started. I forgot to sort of go together. Is France any different in how it distributes game from the US? I don't know how the US distributes game. <laughs> Should be the same. Though. We have shops, we have Amazon. Quite ignorant of this in the cube. It's a game on the PlayStation 1 from 97. Uh, you are in Neo Kenya and you are tasked to capture as many animals as possible to put in an app. Because the planet is going to be destroyed in 8 years by a meteor. Now just the biggest meteor. I don't think Behemoth can do one big enough. I haven't played much of Xenobate 3 yet. have to leave or something. It's in the play decks. Party this game is amazing. I 
Gums of Exploration. Sisters. Parasite, no, I think we put Parasite. Classic RPG, I don't know where the hell I should go. Where is Sachiko? Babies. No, it wasn't released in the US. It has been fan translated like a month ago. One of the Holy Grail that had never been fan translated before. To commit a crime, become a ranger or get pregnant first. No one remembers our faces because all they see are bellies and uniforms. Silly, right? What? Frontiers. How are these games good? I haven't played the Sonic game in a long time. Have you ever been turned between peak and abyss fiction? <laughs> abyss fiction. Yay! A twin? What do you mean by this? What is Free gonna do? Terribly.
I think the PlayStation 5 has like four barriers in it. I have no fucking idea what to do. Can you capture these? The trilogy of a game in one package is going to be like 500 gigabytes. Did I miss a telecommunication? ベイビルトゥイン。<笑> Which shed the Lost Ark or the uh, Astro Ark? Stop resisting. Stagger, stagger everywhere. There's like four sides in the combat, like the cardinals and the monsters can be like in any side. We can only escape if there is one side without any monster. But yeah, we can move around. Oh shit, I post back soon. Let's try again, maybe it will progress the story.
くらいに近づいたとき頭が割れそうなくらいに痛くなったのどうしてどうしてなの Seems like a visual novel. No, that's like a, an RPG of you know, story beats. Otherwise, a lot of RPGs would be visual novels. What do you want to what do you want me to react to? What is there to react? I'm gaming. Talk more. Here enjoy. Hey, you go to the bathroom? You guys want me to react? I'm going to react so hard.
quand tu réactes all over the stream. How long to eat at the same time? Japanese on the uh, TVs. This is only SNES. Pro back then. Like 10 years ago, you would think that the Nintendo 64 was the most successful console of all time. On YouTube, there are like only essays about fucking Ocarina of Time, the Mario 64. FNAF! No. Only on this list, but as usual, only games that were released outside Japan. All right, let's begin. Number 10, Summon Knight, Swordcraft Story, I don't know and who two. this person is. Summon Knight. These three games are a spin-off of the Summon Knight franchise, which was exclusive to Japan before their release. They take after the first Tales of games with a 2D battle system where you control your main character. It can be either a guy or a girl, and they both have their personalities. You can also use the magic powers of the creature you bond with, which is there to help you on your quest. The story is kind of cliché and I always felt it was aimed for a more younger audience, but that's alright. It has a lot of charm and charisma, something that made me enjoy it anyways. I like the graphics in both games. The... Isn't there like only 10 RPGs on the Game Boy Advance anyway? second one being a decent improvement over the first one and also the catchy tunes of its soundtrack. Fnaf. Story wise these two are completely unrelated. Oh, never interesting wise, me, you, know. as you can see they're quite similar. In any case these two underrated RPGs are very cool exclusive to the Game Boy Advance. I'm not too much to all. Number 9, Tactics Ogre: The Night of Lotus. I played out last. That shit fucking sucks. RPG sucked. also underrated from the Ogre Battle franchise that is nowadays dead. I never was much of a fan of the original Tactics Ogre, so I was surprised what? to see how I came to enjoy this one. It's a fantastic game, friendlier than its predecessor, with a very well written plot. It revolves around a soldier that little by little starts realizing that not everything and everyone is what they seem to be. A political machination and corrupted notion is then discovered by the main character and his companions. <laughs> grid based battle maps with customization levels and recruitment options. I think this game is hard for beginners into strategy RPGs, but I'm 100% sure veterans will enjoy it, especially fans from the original game which is actually not directly related to this one. 
I love it takes two. I think it's a great game to enjoy with multiple people. Number eight, Breath of Fire. I feel like Breath of Fire 1 might be like too old for me. Greatly done in my opinion. I've been a fan of that version for a long time and now that I've experienced this I'm not game one to judge, but I know I can still vouch for it. It's a classic I feel like it would be boring. where you control a party of several characters that join you on your quest to defeat evil. It is a pretty basic and standard plot, but you gotta remember that this was the first in the series, early in the JRPG Golden Age. The port looks obviously better, Boy. introducing some small features that weren't in the original. Either way, you're fine playing whatever version you seem fit, but I think this one is slightly better, which is why I included it on the list. The second game was also ported to the Game Boy Advance, but I'm not that big of a fan of it, so consider this one as an honorable mention. Number 7. Final Fantasy IV Here's yet another port from an all-time classic, also originally released on the Super Nintendo. It's a great game available on many different systems, obviously for a very good reason. There's not much to say about a game that everyone has already told you you should play, or that you probably already have. I don't think this Game Boy Advance version will disappoint you though, as it is a good place to start. Just remember, this game is a little bit more challenging than all its successors, but it's fantastic, greatly written story, its amazing cast of characters, and its engaging battle system will easily keep you going forward. Final Fantasy IV is definitely one of the best choices to play an RPG on the 32-bit Game Boy Advance. Dragon Age. I thought Dragon Age was loved. Number six. Yggdrasil Dragon Age Origins. We'll never fight alone. Probably among the hardest RPGs on the system, if not the hardest, is this strategy game. Frantically weird, but highly unique. It follows the quest of Princess Yggdra into taking back her kingdom, with the help of a group of mercenaries. On her journey, many different characters from many different races and classes. I'm pretty sure this one is on Steam. The battle no. system, however, is the one element that stands out like crazy here. As you can see, moving around the map is grid-based, but limited to a small amount of turns, which are shared among all your party members. Once you get into battle, they will fight against another group of enemies, where you will need to maneuver the morale. I don't know which which game you're talking about. What? Roguelite? This one? Yggdra Union? I don't think so bar up there while carefully attacking or defending against them. Equipping Dragon Age was a western RPG. As it generally affects the outcome. This game is extremely difficult, extremely complicated and therefore extremely hard to get into. But if you manage to understand the basics, you can learn along the way and enjoy the heck out of it. Just make absolutely sure to read a guide for this one as there is a possibility of getting stuck forever in the game. That will also help you comprehend its unique gameplay mechanics. Number 5. Golden Sun and Golden Sun The Lost Age These two games were originally going to be one and the same, but cut into two parts. Several changes were made and we got two separate ones, following an alternative version of each other. In the first one, you'll follow Isaac and friends into a quest of stopping alchemy and its destructive power. In the second one, you'll play as. Oh, Dragon Quarter! Okay. That was a Dragon Age! Dragon Age is like a Western RPG. Made by. Bioware. Yeah, Dragon Quarter, yeah, yeah, it's a great game. One of my favorite games of all time. Felix and his companions to do the exact opposite. What's very interesting about this pair is precisely how the story was approached from both sides for us to understand each part of it. Gameplay is almost identical. That's Dragon Age. By your way. Western RPG. But you were talking about Breath of Fire 5, Dragon Quarter. In them, ...with a turn-based battle system into a party of four, with skills and magic being a crucial part in it. Both games are full of diverse dungeons, 
which act more like mazes in order for you to solve puzzles. I see these two games as a big game cut in two parts, play... as it was intended to be. I was about to say to Dragon Sun, Golden Sun. You probably already know is among the best on stream, on the game just so I can finally play the free games. Number four, Shining Force Resurrection of the Dark Dragon. Also made by the same company that made Golden Sun, Camelot Software Planning, this is a remake of the original game on the Sega Genesis released in 2004. It includes new features such as three new playable characters, including one that brings out the card system to use them in battle. It's a strategy RPG, one of the precursors of the genre, in a top-down view during a grid-based map. Again, the story doesn't really stand out much because it's pretty classic, but it does deliver a couple of interesting plot twists here and there. If we include its charming cast of playable characters and its two paths eventually joining into one, we get a great adventure full of charisma. This remake is great and it does live up to the all-time classic on the Genesis, which also rebalanced the difficulty. So this is a great place to start into strategy RPGs in my opinion, and one of the best Game Boy Advance games of all time. Number 3 Final so many Fantasy shining games to play. Oh no. I couldn't leave out the almighty clash of nostalgia that is Final Fantasy VI. It is indeed another great port that somehow managed he to the FF5. between its previous versions. Get so him. much to say about this masterpiece with a very intricate story between a group of characters struggling to survive in a pre and also post apocalyptic steampunk nightmare. So many memories with them. So many memorable moments and tear-jerking scenes that made me fall deeply in love with it. Don't get me started on its melancholic and beautifully done soundtrack or this video might never end. I don't need to continue praising one of the best titles in the series, an RPG that was due to be among the very best in this classic portable system. Number 2 Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones Being a huge fan of the series for many years now, it was no surprise the two mightiest strategy RPGs will top my list. I love The Sacred Stones as it was a very welcoming game with a great balanced difficulty. Yeah, so basically there's like 10 RPGs on the GPA. <laughs> the story will eventually merge but not without letting the player to make the decision of following one of the two main characters' roots. Obviously one is slightly easier than the other, but both are totally worth experiencing, with their amazing and diverse cast of characters. If I may be so bold, The Sacred Stones is the perfect way to start on the franchise, something I've said a couple of times before in other videos. This excellent game, exclusive to the system, is one of the best RPGs on the Game Boy Advance and also one of the best titles in the nowadays very popular franchise. Number 1. Fire Emblem The Blazing Sword Completely unrelated story-wise to the Sacred Stones, The Blazing Sword is yet another masterpiece. It's a prequel to The Binding Blade, the first title on the Game Boy Advance but sadly never released outside Japan. You all know this was the very first Fire Emblem ever to be localized and man what a way to introduce us to the series. I loved everything about it, including its three playable heroes in a world I wonder if the next big Fire Emblem is going to be a remake of Fire Emblem 4, the genealogy of the Holy War. Member. A challenge awaits you with its difficulty, but without being insanely hard. Great missions, great maps here with many different objectives, several recruitment options and its mesmerizing tactical beauty. I love this game as I think everything in it is almost perfect. So it's no wonder why I chose it for the very first place in this list. Some of you were probably expecting to see Tales of Fantasia here, but trust me when I say that the port on the Game Boy Advance is bad. I mean, the PlayStation 1 version of this I think is amazing. It sucks, it's bad. Everything is everything else is great, but the battle system what? No man, no, 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 no way. Play 
the fan translated version of this game on the PlayStation or the Super yeah. Nintendo. Those are much better versions than the Game Boy Advance port. The PS1 version of Final Fantasy is great. Port, the first Lunar, the Silver Star, it's called Lunar Legend. Also on the Game Boy Advance, it's not a bad port, but out of all the ports this game has received, it is the worst. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes, in this version was fine too. I mean, very impressive. Friends. See you next. Then the Tales of Fantasy team split up to make Star Ocean, also a very impressive game on the SNES. Um, now on PlayStation 5 you can play the entire uh, Star Ocean series. I mean 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, one day I should do this. Yeah, I think it needed like a special chip too, right? Or something like this. Good game stuck on the GBA. He made the GBA JRPG tier list. Hello, Lo Clock, by the way. Seems like no one made a, a list of like Japanese only RPGs on the PlayStation 1. Drill Dozer is by far one of the most unique platformers on the GBA that unfortunately was passed over by many when it first released. You take on the role of Jill, the daughter of a sort of when mafia I'm done boss eating, heading up a gang I'll go back to the Red Dozers, and after their family heirloom is stolen by a rival gang, you set out to get it back, all the while being chased by the police over six distinct levels. And even though that may not sound like much, due to the design of each, it's a fairly open-ended adventure. In fact, exploration is one of the game's biggest draws, with a fair amount of puzzles and RPG elements thrown in as well. As with most platformers, you've got your basic run and jump, but Wasi's drill dozer standing out is the main gimmick of the drill that's at the core of the gameplay. It's controlled game cool. shoulder buttons, with R being considered going forward and L serving as reverse. It sounds quite simple on the surface, but it's further complicated depending on your actions in the game. Generally, it doesn't matter which way you drill, but there are situations when it does because of enemies or particular features of is the that environment. Good music? Your drill only has one gear at the beginning of each stage, but as you advance through each of them, you'll find upgrades that let you change into a higher gear for greater drilling force. This allows you to tackle many of the enemies that occupy each stage, as well as make your way through destructible components of the environment, such as I have no fucking idea what hold. his accent but is. What really helps sell this concept of the drill even further is the inclusion of a rumble feature that's built into the cartridge. This feedback adds another dimension to the mechanic that makes it extremely satisfying to simply drill through everything you can find. If you're like me and are fond of platforming games, then Drill Dozer is one experience that you owe yourself to try out. The Game Boy Advance is no stranger to solid SRPGs. With the likes of Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy Tactics, there's plenty of options when it comes to jumping into something new. One incredible example of the genre, however, is still stuck on the GBA to this day, and that is Tactics Ogre The Knight of Lotus. Similar to other SRPGs, the fundamental gameplay on the battlefield is turn-based in nature, and focuses mostly on maneuvering and positioning your units to effectively utilize them to neutralize the threat of the enemy. Of course, each of them have their own qualities and special uses in battle, from magic abilities to units that specialize in melee or ranged attacks. So getting to grips with the skills of each is essential in order to gain the upper hand throughout the game. Complementing this is the class system, and anyone familiar with Final Fantasy Tactics should have no problem in understanding it as it's pretty much the same setup. You can choose to specialize in a single class which could boost your hit points but limit the amount of damage you can deal. You could also find a class that gives you the best of both worlds, although these don't appear until the latter half of the game and require a lot of work to unlock. It gives you a real sense of success, and the class system is crucial to that feeling. Now Tactics Ogre is amongst the most visually incredible games I've seen on the GBA. Both the characters and background components such as buildings, barrels and boxes are all drenched in colour and detail, which enhances the overall aesthetic of the action on screen. No matter how small or big the attack may be, each is accompanied by a range of animation and effects that bring a real weight to each and every action you carry out on the battlefield. For strategy lovers, it doesn't get much better than Tactics Ogre, so if you've played the other SRPGs on the GBA to death, then this one is well worth investing your time in. 
The Lady Sia follows the story of a woman warrior named Sia whose country is being taken over by a race of evil creatures. They've seized control of everything from the ports to the temples, but thanks to a mysterious cloaked figure, Sia has managed to escape the clutches of their grasp and now seeks to unleash her violent rage upon them. This is where the player comes in and is tasked with making their way through a variety of different levels that each hold their own unique threats to overcome. Thankfully, Sia is no lightweight and is fully ready to tackle them head on thanks to her trust sword which allows you to lay down a series of combos to keep them at bay. It's not all about simply swinging your sword to survive though, as Sia is pretty well versed in magic which allows you to mix both of these styles together to create some truly devastating attacks. The most impressive feature of Lady Sia though has to be its level design that sees each one you visit be in a fairly sized area full of platforms, ladders, obstacles and enemies elaborately placed with plenty of puzzles to solve along I didn't know this the way game as well, complementing this of various hidden items scattered throughout each level that serve as a means to unlock secret bonus stages and add another reason to make your way through any given level to find them all. One thing that captivated me from the very start was the huge graphical quality of Lady Sia. It's all composed of nicely drawn colourful characters with nice animation and levels that are quite detailed with beautiful multi-layered backgrounds that create a nice feeling of depth and distance. Seeing it up and running in the palm of your hands is a sight to behold and really hits home that even though the GBA might not be the most powerful handheld, but when it was in the right hands, it was capable of creating captivating worlds and Lady Sia is a true testament to that. Overall, this is one action platformer that deserves a spot in everyone's Game Boy Advance collection. Summon Knight's Swordcraft Story 2 is very similar to the first entry, and it's also more of a reimagining than a sequel. Don't get me wrong, there is a new quest, all new characters, new summon Maybe I should try this at some point, man. Explore, but the core gameplay is very reminiscent of the first game. You'll be exploring dungeons and various areas from a top down perspective, and once you run into an enemy encounter, the game also wanted to play an enemy game. Side scrolling perspective where you have like free control Kimia. over your character. During the battle, you can switch between three different weapons that you have equipped and has summoned something known as a guardian beast to cast spells. The one part of Summon Night 2 that differs from its predecessor is the crafting system. Atlas chose to simplify it and instead of having a weapon blueprint that requires a certain amount of four different materials, you now only need one base material. Once you have crafted the basic weapon, you can then upgrade it accordingly. The higher your craft ranking, the more upgrades you can add to any given weapon and this is where most of the fun lies in the game, ever pursuing the most advantageous weapons. Summon Night 2 has some of the best looking visuals you'll ever see on the GBA. It goes without saying that the side scrolling battles look beautiful, but Atlas really touched up the exploration segments of the game as well. Gone were the days where you had to explore the same dungeon over and over, and in its place a variety of huge areas that are truly a great improvement of the original game. And this did a great job of keeping things more interesting when compared to the rather repetitive multi-floor dungeon found in the first game. Summon Night 2 ramped up the visual scale but it maintained the smooth animation and exciting battles everyone who played the original will know and love. It's without a doubt one of the best games on the Game Boy Advance I've ever played, so if you've never got round to playing it, it's well worth giving a shot. When it comes to licensed games, it's always a bit hit or miss, with many of them not being able to live up to the heights of their source material. Astro Boy Omega Factor is one of these games that is the exception rather than the rule. The game follows Astro's exploits. It's made by Treasure, of course, it's going to be good. Of the original lore and manages to incorporate Treasure has never missed. aspects of the franchise that fans will know and love, such as larger than life villains in several locations that give it an authentic feel. When it comes to gameplay, it's essentially an action platformer that is split up into a huge range of levels that escalate in difficulty the further you progress. Of course, Astro's got many ways to deal with the ever-growing advances of each threat, and you're able to attack your enemies with simple punches and kicks, use Astro's trademark finger laser, and unleash three special attacks. One of these is an extremely powerful beam that destroys everything in its path, another is a dash forward using jets that continually damages the enemy, and another is a machine gun type of weapon that hits everything on the screen and is mounted on, well, 
Astro Boy Zars. There is also means of leveling up in the game, which almost makes it into a sort of platformer RPG. And every character you meet, you get to level up one of your attributes, your health, melee attacks, or laser abilities, and it's all down to you to shape Astro to your liking. There's loads of characters to meet as well, which are not always the easiest to find, so exploring each level is also a great idea if you want to develop Astro. Well, I'm so bad at these kind of can. platformers, Mega Man Zero fucking destroyed my entire side, existence. Easily be I cried. I never beat this game, so I think like I did two levels I even. That stop me from recommending I quit overall, with tears in my eyes. the fact that this game is based on a license of a kid show and pick it up. It's just that good. Pokemon has always been synonymous with the Game Boy and the GBA was no exception. I'm going to play Pokemon Black and White on stream. I haven't played Pokemon in like 20 years, but I'm convinced that I should play Black and White. Apparently, black and white is like story driven, so I think it would make things more interesting for me. Because I'm sorry, like Pokemon gameplay is like so boring for me. I'm sorry. One on one battles, like as an RPG guy, is like you couldn't make this more boring if you tried, right? I don't know how people go through this. So yeah. Black and white apparently story driven, so at least it would make it uh, a motivator, motivator to play a Pokemon to the end. Story in Pokemon. Apparently, black and white has a story. Which received that is five good. different entries of the game with Emerald standing as the best of the bunch. It's basically an improved version of Ruby and Sapphire with many new features and extra content that made it the perfect way to get your Pokemon fix on the go. Like many in the series, it sees you taking on the role of a new Pokemon trainer who has recently moved to a new town. From there, you choose your first Pokemon and are let loose to capture as many as you can, all the while challenging the various gym leaders throughout the land. Now during battle, you and your opponent both take turns and select from four different abilities that each Pokemon possesses. To build up your Pokemon strength, you need to battle more and more, and as you level up, they will not only receive stat increases, but also learn new abilities to use in battle as well. With just over 200 Pokemon available in the game, all with different elemental types that are either effective or useless against your opponent, building the perfect team is hard I know about Jet Kukun, I should Emerald play it too. Really shines. Even though it doesn't sound like it, it really is a lot of depth to the game. If you wanted, you could just go around and catch Pokemon, explore the world, talk to people, battle, and so much more. But one of the more rewarding activities in the game has to be Pokemon contests, which were added in for this release. This sees you planting berries and turning them into something known as Pokeblocks, a kind of Pokemon candy in which you can feed to your Pokemon and raise specific contest stats used to win contests you enter them into. It's a great little distraction. I'm sure Pokemon is like super tactical in serious amount of replayability once you've made your way through it. For Pokemon and fans, feeling you Game Boy when you play online get much better than Emerald. So if you're looking like to jump a into single the player play past, for make like sure this me. is one you don't skip. I tried X and Y and Omega Ruby. The I quit after one hour. Police knots. Boktai, the sun is in your hand, is a game like no other that actually encourages the player to leave the confines of their home and get out into the world in order to succeed. It combines traditional oh, RPG yeah, aspects with an engrossing plot with a sun, uh, gameplay that sees you cartridge. taking on the role of Django, a vampire hunter that harnesses the power of the sun to overcome the many obstacles that block your way. This is done by a solar sensor that's included with the game's cartridge which slowly powers up Django's solar gun and serves as your main means of interacting with many aspects of the game. Now most of it is split into a variety of dungeons, which are all designed in a kind of maze-like fashion. Naturally, your main source of energy for your solar gun is somewhat limited, so the game encourages the player to use stealth as one of the main ways to deal with the many threats that come your way. There are some items that make your footsteps super quiet, you're also able to back up against the wall and hit it a few times and make some noise. Using these together soon becomes the best way to traverse each environment, and especially important when it comes to preserving the power of your gun. As I mentioned, there's also several RPG mechanics that are included, and this comes in the form of being able to modify your gun's abilities. You'll find various upgrades throughout the game, and they can all be leveled up depending on how much you use them, allowing you to shape the Django in any way you see fit. Boktai effortlessly combines many different gaming genres into one package, adding a fairly interesting story and the brilliantly innovative solar sense to create a game that is well worth playing through. 
Ninja 5 is an action platformer that puts you into the role of Joe Asuri, a ninja turned detective, after an evil terrorist group got their hands on an ancient artifact which has been guarded by no ninja clans for centuries. It's your job to rescue the innocent people who have been taken hostage by the group and take out their cool. leaders to ultimately retrieve the artifact and protect its mystical acting. powers. Now the game consists of six different stages that are made up of about 20 levels and presents a standard side-scrolling hack and slash setup for the player to get stuck into. You're armed with your trusty katana for tackling enemies up close, as well as an unlimited amount of shurikens that help keep the enemy at bay from a distance. The most important part of your weapons, however, is by far the grappling hook. You can swing over pits. I should do a, a, one stream that is like a platform GBA platform now staying. Device. And each stage is enormous. So if you want to locate every hostage I'm sure I can finish on one level, too. you'll need to explore a lot and, and figure out how to as long as it's not Mega Man Zero. This is where most of the game this game is too fucking hard. Sure, it's easy enough to hack away at your enemies, but when you're in a confined space, you'll find yourself utilizing the grappling hook in battle as well to quickly evade incoming attacks and darting across the screen to regain the upper hand. What really hits it home though is just how tight and responsive the controls are, to the point that they become completely second nature. And just like the classic Shinobi games before it, you can climb walls and even slide across the ground, which is baked into the level design, requiring you to utilize every option at your disposal at any any given time. Overall, if you never managed to play it back in the day, then try tracking it down. Chances are you won't be disappointed. First appearing way back in 1997, Klonoa would go on to see many entries across both the PlayStation 1 and PS2 and eventually find its way to Nintendo's handheld with Empire of Dreams. Klonoa's world is one in which dreams are very important, yet the Emperor, due to chronic insomnia, forbids his people to dream on pain of death. Klonoa finds himself in trouble for daring to have a dream, but he manages to bargain his way out by agreeing to help the Emperor vanquish four monsters who are terrorizing the kingdom. There are five regions and all for Klonoa to explore, each of which follows the same format of seven regular levels and a boss. Five of the seven levels are standard 2D environments where the goal is to collect three stars that will open up the gate to exit the level. Along the way, there's plenty think of it's available as well as obstacles blocking the path forward. Never got the the Klonoa hike. Klonoa's got a few handy tricks up his sleeve to get the job done. Naturally, you can run and jump, but the fact that you can't jump it was very quite, high is quite unique for like puzzle you'll come across. As a result, one, you've got to find very good value to reach new heights, and one of those is by using wind bullets. By harnessing the power of wind and by firing it at the target, you can capture it and throw it at another enemy, or at a switch to open a door, or to vault off it well, in good vibes. I mean, the story the just fucking destroys you. The height. So even though on the surface it may seem that Klonoa isn't that capable, it's the variety in how you're able to creatively interact with different parts of the environment that will help you succeed. Klonoa Empire of Dreams is one of the most enjoyable, well-crafted, and clever platformers I've ever played. Few handheld games have captivated me as much as this one has, so if you're tired of all the Super Mario rehashes, I think you will find something to truly love about Klonoa. Way back in 1995, Nintendo released an RPG on the Super Nintendo known as Earthbound. By placing the game in a more contemporary era rather than a medieval one like Final Fantasy, it deviated I'm from sure the you standard mean RPG oh, design of its time. Instead of fighting monsters with swords and axes, you wielded baseball bats, yo-yos and psychic powers. It wasn't a huge success when it first released, but would go on to gain a cult following who still to this day haven't managed to yeah, get made by Treasure again. sequel from Mother 3, as it's never taken Very a journey game. west and has long been one of those games stuck in Japan. In many ways, Mother 3 I don't know why so many people ask for like Mother 3 to be localized. It has one of the best fan translations out there. Just fucking get a ROM and then play the fucking game right then. Do Nintendo fans don't play games unless it's like on the Nintendo Switch? Just launch an emulator and fucking play the game instead of asking the game for like 20 years. The fuck? Get a ROM! Use! A GBA emulator, so see fuck me. And Earthbound are Italy, quite similar. Italy just Google it. include a modern scenario, comparable graphics, and similar gameplay, and to develop the plot, you move and around. And the creator of like he's like 75. What the fuck? Simulating experience and interacting with NPCs, which add a nice amount of levity to the events that transpire. When it comes to combat, encounters aren't random, but instead each enemy is visible on the screen, and you must oh, choose whether you want to engage them or flee as you wish. At first glance, battles seem pretty traditional, with characters taking turns using 
can play on your phone, you can play on a calculator if you want, you can play on your fridge, you can play on your iPad, you can play on your Android, whatever, you can play on your PC, you can play... You know what I have? HP is handled. Let's see what I have. This is a retro handheld. You can literally play it on PSP, yeah. And this is how to have, I paid like 60 bucks for this. And it can run up to PlayStation 1 games. RG35XX. Now there is a plus. And for its price, it has everything you want if you want to play like... On the go. Or even like on the toilet, you know, just something that you can use for like, while, you know, walking around and you're uh, just sitting on the couch and, you know, chilling or, you know, when you take the bus or whatever. This is it. I uh, recommend checking uh, Retro Game Core. He has like everything when it comes to retro handhelds and makes reviews. So for example, you can have like something more powerful like this. Kind of like a Switch Mini. And I think you can play up to like PSP and stuff. This one. You can do Saturn, you can do 3DS apparently. And basically, this one is more expensive, like one fifty dollars. The one I was talking about was fifty. But if you want something that you can keep, it has like a, enough, uh, like a switch style. This one is like the best, I think, best bang for the buck, or whatever they say. Uh, Miu Mini Plus, the same thing. So you have a set of horizontal retro handhelds and then there's vertical uh, and I got a vertical because uh, I prefer vertical, right? Uh, shaped like a Game Boy and you play it like this. I mean you play GBA games like this, right? There are no issues, you just play GBA games. Play everything you want up to PlayStation 1 included. One of those controllers you can snap into a phone. It's not the same feeling, man. It's not the same feeling. You get something like this. Awesome. If you're in the market for a new budget handheld, you may be overwhelmed by all of the options that are currently out there. Knowing the form... Miu Mini Plus, RG35XX, Plus, I think. No, this one is the Plus. And this one, I don't know, this one, I don't like uh, joysticks on a vertical handheld. Joysticks, like, it's not aesthetic for me. So yeah, something like this, 50, 60 bucks, perfect, if you're in the mood. Uh, I, I lost mine, I don't know where mine is. <laughs> I have no fucking idea where mine is. But yeah. ...in the game, when an enemy attacks, all the damage they've done is not applied at one time, and instead trickles down slowly, allowing you to take advantage of the extra time given to you to cast a heal or counter-attack yeah, I think the damage for the with unique gameplay, value for money. serious yet humorous storyline and memorable characters, Mother 3 is one of those games that is absolutely essential to play through. Well that does it for today's video, keep an eye out for part 2 as that will be coming up soon, so don't forget- So yeah, um... Summon Knight, a bug tie, right? I play Tacticals, Tactic Saga, or oh, Drill Land, whatever. I need to save this because. Um... Pretty much later.
በስታፍ PSP fighting games i had guilty gear on the PSP that shit was awesome mm. the perfect see even them like it's basically the new the, the new fab unique weapons and style from heavy hitters like nightmare to the quick and nimble fighters Maxi, there's bound to be one that suits your approach to fighting game there's no reason for likely satisfy both passing and oh, the time fans easy. of the source material now when it comes to game play, it so a lot with the games on, on the home console but it's a bit more simple with all of your main attacks being assigned to two buttons and when used in conjunction with the directions on the d-pad even more become available as you might expect melee attacks can be easily mixed into combos and press in both at once let you throw your opponent holding down the block button put your character's guard up the well-timed taps is anyone excited for 10k shifa dodge or even throw i was never a fan of 10k right shifa way i was a fan of budokai right gameplay so unique though is the budokai free but strikes. i know a lot of my friends are excited for 10k shifa and it controls the types of energy strikes you can do during a battle your key will naturally grow but you can also rapidly charge i have taken a that's the only fighting game i need so far very open right now your energy can range from I wish I could play more of Tekken, but streaming, you know. Nightmare, depending on how much key you have charged up, and it's here where the constant back and forth during battle truly makes the game come to life. Thanks to some great visuals and action, Shin Budokai is a solid 3D fighter that is bound to satisfy fans of the show. And although it doesn't really pack a lot of depth in the systems that your content and new ways oh, to experience power stone them, was the so first Power good. Stone appears to be a fairly typical and somewhat simplistic there are eight characters to choose from and every day i think about tekken but like streaming right i stream every day you've got your it's hard to strong attacks as well as a throw and the ability to, to slot taken i mean i could stream taken but what in jack got some of mayhem into his stream plans the use of weapons and various items that litter the arena you can swing from poles pick up crates and boxes maybe i should do like seven hours of play game and then to find something special. the rest i just stream taken like swords hammers and staves which are most effective when you're up close i mean taken is super fun you've also got ranged weapons like pistols and I wish Capcom would do like another power stone. It was made by Tsunoda, right? truly insane options like bombs, a potion that turns your character into a giant, and a soccer ball that bounces around hitting everything in sight. However, the most distinctive mechanic of the game is also the one that gives it its name. Power stones are large, colorful gems that randomly spawn during a fight, and once a character collects three of them, they transform into a super powerful version of themselves with attacks that can home in on their opponent. All of these elements combine to create a very fast and furious style of play and you're constantly jumping around the arena trying to grab a weapon before your opponent and struggling to maintain some semblance of a power balance by making sure they don't get their hands on a power stone for those who have not played it in the arcade or on the dreamcast power stone collection is definitely worth seeking out and adding to your library Def Jam The Takeover is an updated version of the home console release that brings together a rather strange mixture of fighting, wrestling, and hip hop that provides an in depth I played Def Jam on PlayStation 2. But it's impossible to stream now, you would get 15,000 copyrights. secretly strikes. run by various street fighting gangs with these different brawlers fighting it out in arenas throughout the five boroughs to win money and respect. You take on the part of the up and coming folk, being wrestlers, right? Underground street fighting, it's such a good idea. Rest because it was made by the developers who made the WWE the games to create your character back then. Set out to take over the city so basically they do wrestling, <laughs> rappers doing wrestling, but I feel like Dark it works so well. Rhymes. Like the Def Jam games before it, the TakeOver implements a vision of the old wrestling game engine from the likes of WrestleMania 2000 on the N64 and sees each character having a choice of up to five different styles. You've got wrestling, submissions, kickboxing, martial arts and street fighting and when you start out you can only use one but over time you slowly earn training points which can be used to unlock aspects of the other styles to implement yeah, them into your run of all combining all these these new moves uh, fundamentally dogmatic, changes so. the dynamic I'm of cooked. how your character okay. plays as well as what I'm moves cooked, it uses believe. you might start out by relying heavily on grappling techniques but once you toss in kickboxing for example it allows you to mix up your approach and attack from a distance with combos so four days that eventually like set up a unicorn. grapple for submission because of this the game feels like it's constantly changing and it's more than I know 
on the velo is going to be one of the best game of all time for me. On their toes as they make their way through to the end. Overall, if you're a fan of fighting games, then Def Jam's unique setup and gameplay is something that you definitely I also played the Warrior on PSP. Yeah, yeah, no, I said like it, it, they made the WWE Plus games, is an right? Version of the original Axum Core in the fifth iteration of Gold It's called the. Uh, it introduced a number of Ux. alterations, including completely re recorded voiceovers, a new character artwork, but kept the stellar gameplay intact and tweaked it to help iron out some of the balance issues that plagued the previous entries. From a gameplay perspective, the combat. I played Gucci on PSP, busy, so fucking good, man. I think they made a side scroller, no? They made a side scroller. Remember? The Prini, Prini, press combinations Prini PSP buttons, games, even more abilities can be accessed, such as frozen counters. Of course, course, as with many fighting games, there's also the ability to perform super moves, which is powered by something known as the tension gauge, allowing you to unleash devastating attacks as well as instant KOs. And because of this, the tide of a fight can turn in the blink of an eye. As you would expect, there's a general. Oh, it's only on Switch, very messed up. With the best example being the story mode. Every fighter has some sort of visual novel text driven adventure oh, that has the characters me. crossing paths with each other and usually resulting in a fight. Another is survival mode that sees you beating the crap out of your opponents and collecting medals which are dropped by your fallen foes that increase your overall high score. But that's not all, you've got attack mode as well as my personal favourite being the sound mode which allows you to listen to one of the many songs that make up the soundtrack and nearly all of them are absolute bangers. With some of the best 2D fighting gameplay on the Someone PSP as well as a nigh on endless land. amount of content to make your way through. Sounds Max like Core you're... Plus is for sure one fighting game you do not want to miss. Ever since its first entry way back in the early okay. 90s, Watch Mortal out. Kombat has always prided itself on its extreme dedication to violence and Unchained on the PSP saw this tradition continue. Very much like other titles in the franchise, you're presented with a huge selection of characters to contend with and play across several modes that make up the game as a whole. It's essentially a version of Mortal Kombat Deception on the go, with all of the content including the pretty robust RPG conquest mode that makes this entry so appealing. What sets Mortal Kombat Combat and Chained apart from all of the other 3D fighting games is that each of the 30 characters have three distinct fighting styles, including one that gives your character a weapon that they can use for maximum amounts of damage. Whenever you need to change up your moves, all you need to do is push the left trigger, and this cycles you through the three unique styles. Mixing them up on the fly and creating combos is half of the fun, and for those that take their time in mastering the intricacies of each of them, it soon becomes one of the more rewarding fighting games on the handheld. Adding to each fight is the incredible stage design that takes many cues from the likes of Devil May Cry and allows the player to use it to their advantage. From knocking your opponents off roofs to breaking through walls and much more, it becomes a huge part of the basic gameplay. Of course, fatalities are also one of the main features of the game that more than justify its mature rating. From the hilarious to the downright gruesome, there's bound to be one that puts a stupid grin on your face. While it's not the best 3D fighting game on the PSP, Mortal Kombat Unchained is a great division to what is already out there. The Tales series is well known for the many RPGs that it's produced, and as with most popular franchises, there's always a spin-off or two that takes the game into uncharted territory. This is the case with Tales of Versus, which is basically a fighting game that takes the combat system used in many entries of the series and allows you to battle it out across a range of different stages using a cast of characters from the game's history. If you've ever played a Tales game before, each battle will feel very familiar, with all of them being fought on a 2D plane where characters have their own regular attacks as well as a range of special moves known as arts that help spice up the gameplay. It takes many cues from the likes of Super Smash Bros and adds platforming elements into each fight that adds a great amount of variety to each stage and opens up different strategies as you fight versus. to come out on top. Further mixing up the gameplay is the inclusion of several items God, I should that lift the battlefield I should play and can help give you the upper hand on abyss. your opponent. Fuck. From increased damage to bouts of invincibility, all of them have a role to play, but thankfully there is an option to turn them off and solely rely on your skill instead. Along with the standard tournament mode and story, you've got several other ways to play the game, with my personal favourite being special battles, which give you an interesting set of circumstances for each fight, and you have to win the battle with these rules. To take after some of its RP roots, characters do level up in this game, but not in the usual sense. Each of them has an amount of GP that can be earned over the course of the game, and this is what you use to increase your stats, as well as 
also unlock new special moves and items that can be used to increase your chances of success. It's a solid system that really helps add some replay value to the overall package, making it one of the more engrossing fighting games you'll find on the PSP. Street Fighter Alpha 3 has seen numerous releases oh yeah, across Max was like consoles, super good. from the Sega Saturn to the PS1 and Game Boy Advance, and it would eventually Alpha made 3. its way to the PSP, which was based so many on new the updated and stuff. arcade version with new characters and features. Much like any other game in the series, Alpha 3 Max takes the tried and tested formula the series is well known for and throws you into one of several modes to test your skills. You've got the standard six-button setup with low to high kicks and punches, as well as several unique special moves that each character can call their own. What helps mix up the minute to minute gameplay however is something known as the ism feature. There are three isms in total which you get to choose at the beginning of each fight and they all play out differently depending on which one you choose. You've got the strong but slow x-ism as well as the weak but fast v-ism with a-ism being a sort of happy medium between the three. Your ability to do super combos changes between isms as well. In a-ism you get the standard three levels of super combos whereas with x you only get one power for super combo and finally in V you forgo for free to improve so we've summoned warriors from oh yeah this is the same was amazing I wish we could run over this year expect these warriors are made up of different characters from the Final Fantasy universe such as Cloud, Tifa, Lightning and Squall who all have their own unique attacks okay George have a, have a good one enjoy the PlayStation open fun. areas are used for each battle with RIP two DC fighters engaging in one-on-one -on -one combat even. and whilst you're doing so there are two main factors you need to keep in mind the first is your bravery value and the second being your hit points bravery attacks add to your your overall bravery amount while deducting from your opponents and when you land a HP attack the more damage you cause is determined on your point total. The majority of really fights like are exciting dances in which you and your adversary trade ranged blows, slip around obstacles the and then strike at the appropriate moment to land a few well placed hits. Complementing well, he's all doing of this the, is the return of EX assaults he's doing the DLCs of FF16. We're going to see him in that. Like deal a lot of damage but also highlight the game's amazing visuals. Two weeks? Of course, no fight Game would be complete East. without a multiplayer mode, and From this is where Dissidia 12 shines. There is no substitute to competing against a human player who may be on the same skill level as you. And with the amount of options at your fingertips with Dissidia, this is by far the best way to play and test your knowledge of the systems in play. Overall, if you're fond of Final Fantasy, then this one is a bit of a no brainer. But even for casual fans that may not be familiar with the series, there's still plenty here to love. Whenever you think about fighting games, there's no doubt that Tekken is one series that instantly comes to mind. Starting out life in the arcades and eventually moving on to the original PlayStation, it cemented itself as one of the most prominent franchises in the space, which is going just as strong to this day. Even though there were a few releases on the PSP, Tekken 6 has to be the best of the bunch, which managed to retain nearly every aspect of its home console of stars, okay, and Andrew. resulted in what is likely I the best fighting game on the uh, system. Much like the other games in the series, you'll get to choose from a range of different fighters who all come with their own unique movesets and style. This allows you to experiment with the various pros and cons of each and eventually settle on one that suits you best. The setup is pretty much identical to previous entries and is comprised of four attack buttons and several mechanics that make each encounter all the more engaging. The main one is something known as the rage system that sees your attacks getting a small boost in damage if your life is too low and can mean the difference between victory or defeat when you're in a tight spot. On top of this you've got the sort of rock-paper-scissors approach to the counter system known as Crush, which sees you being able to cancel out moves from your opponent in the right circumstances. Now what really helps Tekken 6 on the PSP hit it out of the park is the visual makeup of the game that looks absolutely spectacular running on the small screen. Of course, if you Hello, compromises Robert, were made when compared to its bigger they, they brother on for console, reacting, some but reacting. each and every character is represented incredibly well, with a suite of smooth animations and a solid frame rate to, you, to back it all up. If you're looking Hope to to a fighting game on the PSP, unique qualities in tandem to. It's crazy you have Valkyria Chronicles 1 and 4, they skip to 4 for the consoles. Why didn't they bring 2 and 3 to consoles too? It's so fucking stupid. Now you have to play on PSP. Oh yeah, Cry on Trailer. Fuck, I found it.
Si Apocalypse Il nous faut fouler après. Bon, putain de terrain battle. Oh, Draken Garnier, le temps de mes Draken Garnier, voilà story. La planète voilà story, it was ok. It was, uh, it was, uh, it was alright. I didn't know there was this cancel game. Blame Crab Lord. Pretty? Isn't this guy in Carabattle? The little guy. I would be surprised if this was going to take a lot of money. Not cool though. Too bad it was cancelled. Must be me because I'm sure I, uh, Microsoft sucks. GG's. That was pretty cool. Wedding scene, yeah. I was thinking of that. Okay, yeah, Valkyrie Chronicles. DCD, of course. Mega Man Power of colorful NPCs are to move the story along and bring context to the world around you. Whereas in battle, it shares much with the likes of the early Dragon Quest games and chooses to portray each encounter in a first I think I've ever heard view. of Soul Trigger. When it comes to your turn, you can choose from a basic attack, skills, items, or defend, with skills being beholden to the jump? amount. Did choose from a basic attack, skills, items, or defend, jump. with skills being beholden to the amount of soul you currently have. This statistic basically stands in as this game's version 
in FMP, with each character having a certain amount that increases the more you level up. Every time you use a skill, its level and effectiveness increases, but also its cost. So the careful use of mixing both standard and special attacks is the name of the game if you want to effectively impact the enemies that come your way. But what makes Soul Trader a bit different when it comes to progression is the way you learn new abilities. It's done through the awakening of age or enemies by vanishing the flow of abilities in order to complete. Each of your limbs are controlled by one of the face buttons, with the main goal being to string them all together in a series of combos to land as much damage as you can. What makes it even better is the game lets you customize your body to suit your style of play. If you like violence with a close personal touch, then you can set up your different body parts to be linked together to focus on melee attacks. But if you like to attack from a distance, there's an impressive amount of variety Hello, to range How's it weapons going? as well. Other strategies could be to stun or overheat your enemies. Oh, you Damage to yourself by concentrating on defensive parts such as shields and regeneration. As you upgrade oh, yeah, and expand your character using points and parts, you'll find plasma cutters, needle guns, and so much more left behind by your defeated enemies that give you an extra edge in combat. Seeing how every new component appears as it's integrated into your bizarre adaptive cyber body is one of the game's most captivating features. For example, a heavy stun gun can grow horns on your head, resemble claws on the arm. That's interesting. The of this game. From the shoulders. It's a really intuitive system, which provides countless Talk ways to play books. the game. Despite what many Didn't say, like Rengoku 2 is a solid title. Archaic formula with tons of humor and I feel like I heard this game, that will likely flip your expectations on their head. For instance, you might open a treasure chest that contains many potions, but the text box will tell you that your character dropped the chest and there's only three potions left. Or you might discover a chest that contains piss that restores your HP, only what? to have a party member tell you that you're disgusting for drinking it. It's these little jibes that give Crimson a distinct attitude that it can call its own. But of course, that's only half the story, as if the gameplay wasn't up to the level of comedy offered, then it would all be for nothing. Thankfully, Crimson more than delivers in this department as well, and although it's quite linear, with you travelling from village to village, buying new armour and weapons for your characters, and then battling a bunch of enemies on your way to the next, it's still an absolute blast to play. The battle system is turn-based in nature, with each of your characters having a large arsenal of attacks, and every encounter being a fast and strategic affair. To help facilitate your proficiency in battle, aside from the usual equipment and weapon stats, You've got a skill tree system that allows you to cater each character to your approach and customize them all to your heart's content. Easily, it's one of the best JRPGs on the PSP, and although it can unexpectedly get quite difficult, it's nothing that ruins the game as a whole, and rather How just is it doing, you know? to get better. So if you can find it, it's for sure one game that deserves well, okay, a spot possible. in your collection as well. The third birthday took a huge departure from the first Oh no, 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 we said good games. Uh, we're just checking some games on PSP. Entry in the Parasite Eve series, which instead took the so this match. You told me to react. I'm reacting, and now we're mad. Find the fuck? It as a third-person shooter. You once again took on the fight as Aya, as you set out to take down a mysterious interdimensional enemy, only known as the Twisted, who have invaded the world and caused chaos for humanity. Now, when it comes to gameplay, you'll be visiting a wide variety of locales that see you traveling the world and utilizing. I'm going to go back to the cube back immediately. In order to tackle the Twisted. Not a good game. Uh, he, he's tweaking. Range of classes, which all oh, have a to play on the battlefield. You've got this game's version of healers, mages, and tanks, allowing you to tackle the range range of missions that make up the adventure in a way yeah, yeah. that suits your playstyle best. The game has a very linear flow to it, with most of your time being spent in a sort. I love playing the tag, so maybe I should play this one too. Sort of hub area that allows you to buy items, weapons, and armor, and select from various quests that see you being transported to one of many planets to complete your objectives. This usually takes the form of making your way through a certain location, mopping up the enemies on the way, and ultimately culminating in a boss fight that will test your skills and understanding of the mechanics in play to the limit. At its core, the battle system is quite simple, with you having I never an played with and a special uh, skill known original. as a photon art. However, your normal attack sort of rhythm to it or timing. If you manage to no, hit no it hate. correctly, these attacks will increase in power as you consecutively land hits. This system has the same addictive qualities that the original PSO had, and it feels just as great as ever, offering a fantastic story, deep character customization, upgraded gameplay mechanics, and a nigh endless amount of content to make your way no. through. Fantasy Star Portable to Infinity is quite easy so to the best action RPGs oh, I love Sega games, I love Sega games. Well, I'm so excited for Sega and Mirad Beyond. That will become...
This is Soul Trigger too, right? Soul Trigger. Uh, English patch. Oh, there's an English patch, okay. Uh, what else did he say? I said Skrill, I don't care. Rengoku. I'm actually Rengoku, yeah. Uh, sorry. Rengoku. Mm. Okay. I love Scarlet Dress, I love the Saga Frontier, absolute classic. Uh, Roman 6 Saga 3. Yeah, Saga 2. I don't think I've played the DS version, but I played uh, Game Boy. Community, it's now fully available for non Sweet But that didn't stop the contagion. I managed to stand out amongst its contemporaries by oh, well done, the XF. somewhat cliche RPG setup that many have come to know and love. Instead of taking place in the usual fantasy, the music world, of this game is so good. Um, here yeah, you can listen to this. No, Hama, no, it's a Saga Frontier 2, Hamauzu, and a limited Saga Hamauzu. Saga Frontier 1 is Kenji Ito. Daxter, <laughs> Oh, Soul Trigger is not fully translated. We got got. Maria Limev, yes. I think so. Yeah. It's my normal account. No, it's uh, it's my nickname. That's another nickname. The one I have on this card. Dumps five, I don't need to play. Flashbangs. What else did he say? Uh, from Saga Saga, Ringoku. Yeah, what dumps music? I'll look into some PSP games. I'm, I, I'm kind of feeling playing some PSP games at some point. Tant gain rempart. No thanks. Maybe one day. Jeanne d'Arc, of course. Uh, I should play Trace in the Sky, but I don't want to spend 
80 hours in RPG back to back. Trying to look at some PSP games. Last Tranker apparently they only translated uh, the main story. So I don't know if it's worth playing if I translated the story. No set quest, no set content. Do, 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 do. Oh Zenonia, it was a mobile game. Eh? I remember Zenonia. Okay, uh, let's go back to... We've done enough reacting. Oh, sorry. Crab Lord. Now everyone can leave. So we're trying to make uh, Linda remember get her memories back. We got Linda back, but um, we were at like, I gave her a ring, we checked the tree, but now I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, yeah, we were like, uh, Our sport. We checked the tree, we got a ring. I don't know what else I can do. She wanted a wedding. Oh, maybe I need to go to Minego. That was the idea I had. Because she has a wedding dress. I was talking about winning race, it was like so fucking expensive and then got her a ring and then I don't know what else I can do. I got Santa saying uh, she gets a headache when you get to the control room of the Ark. You went to the Ark and now... Uh, I did some work, I think. Yeah, I got here and she punched me to death. Maybe I should go to Eterna. Linda no manage to get to the world. I'm not sure what What? was here. He was here. He was here. Beastman necklace. 
and I put it on a random abandoned temple. I'm guessing maybe I should go to Eterna. Dogs here. Linda is toast, I'm sorry. Nothing we can do about her. Hello Lampler, we are gaming indeed. You are trying to find how to progress. This is the gaming. We have six years remaining until the planet is destroyed. But we found our girlfriend back. Now we just need her memories back. So you need to fight Santa Claus in a wish I was killing. Can't you see it's a horse? Have you never seen a horse? <laughs> yeah, she's going to level up as I try to capture uh, more enemies. The turtles beat my ass so bad. Yeah, she's going to level up quickly. Yeah. She's going to catch up. That's not a town. I've been heard. Pretty sure I've been here, but let's do a check. Oh yeah, I've been here, but I need Tanukis. No. I 
I got um, moths and one of my my dogs ran away. So the moths just constantly stun knocked me with their confusion skill. So I kept attacking myself until I died. I hate my dogs. <laughs> they ran away at the worst moment. At least this means that uh, Linda is going to get out of the XP, I think. Octop Octopus eats uh, dogs. Cobra Twist. Oh, she has full booty girl too. Copy one for stats. Alvin Skin. Mercator, okay, okay. Stinky fart. Now we're getting some good skills.
What? Invent a tissue animal to battle. Champion Bell does it. Uh, the you tree is annoying with you. Oh, not my Livaldi. Battle theme is so funny. That is some damage. Okay, give me my dogs back. this one. So there should be moths. M-O-T-H-S. You know, I don't mind if I do. Hello, oh, you visited the Mifrim Mines again. Have you, have you seen, have you finally seen the, the, the Kino Light? <laughs> oh, shit. If it's fleas, I'm going to. this Monster spinning into two. Oh, 
Yeah, I got Linda back. I mean, she still didn't get a memory yet. One would fall. They are very, very skilled at the tendency to just attack the same person over and over again. Well, now Linda isn't in the party anymore. She died. Oh, it's happening again, it's happening again. Why are there monkey noises? Oh, I am so mad at this guys, I am so fucking mad. To life. Here, eat a good filet. Eat some salted duck. Eat stewed monkey. thought you could eat my dog, right? Is this game like that? No, 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 that's some interesting stuff. The combat system can be fucking annoying sometimes. But there's some interesting stuff happening, but we need to finish the game first. We have an evil twin. Uh, Linda lost her memory. Now we're trying to restore her memory by finding stuff to remember. Uh, Evies are fleas, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, it is Dungeon is us. I'm not going to show you how to do Moss?
You have 15 HP, man. Why am I out with my hands? I guess I cannot get this uh Dungeon suck the most. It's uh Okay let's go save stages so I can try try different stuff, okay? Chicken, no. No escape was the last kill. Um, Thank you. 
No, it's not possible. Uh... Let's check it out now. After this. I never wait for voice mail. Ken, what no coy or voice it? Ninda no way as you know, Hume there. I don't know. Tots them they were in Dagado, Parasite on a junk palace mother, Kao Castemoranega. Cochara de Mustanga, I need to look in a canapina. Hm. Ma, Tonica, stick there. Varina, ja. It's another flower, okay. He pointed turtles, I think, I'm going to demolish me. Um, I could try polar bears. So just a look here. Yeah, I want to go. Big frog, I need the other gender of three frog. I need my dogs to be kitted up. I want the strongest dogs you have. Can't have a polar bear. They don't look like polar bears. They look like abominations.
Damn. Big smile. Why am I doing negative damage? Damn, I didn't think I would catch one. Nice. She's going to need some equipment. Okay, uh, what is this place again? Let's go ghost town, yeah? Another town where all the beasts. The weasels, I saw the weasels. They are annoying. What the? I got tissues. Why? Read that on sex appeal. Thanks. No, I didn't try camping. あなたのお母さんってとっても素敵な人ね。それからあの隊長さんもお付き合いしてるんでしょ？お母さんと隊長さん。え、やだ。私たらとんでもない。What does it do? Okay, I'm going to keep the Viagra he gave me for later. Tissues are gone! With Linda! Next to me! Damn. Thank you. 
Okay, okay. Alright, let's go to uh, the Ark first. Level 9 for Linda. I should get some gear for her, but like, I need to grind some enemies. Maybe grind Hienas later. So far, it's been pretty good. Not a lot of story. Though. Okay, I just need like and a few more species. You said fish and three frogs should be doable. Um, I don't know about turtles, but turtles took no damage when I tried them. Wait, that's where Parasari is, right? Can I see those? Uh, wait, do I have it on me? I don't even remember the stage. Finding gold, 30 species, 6 animals, file 25. Okay. Um, give me the list. Oh, this is not registered. 
I don't know if you should refuse fight, but I think there's ostrich. Yeah, my. Okay, these are pigs. Home. Yeah, the pig is really cute. Let's let Dragonfly. Love Pokemon. Eagle. I think they're like the closest to like actual eagles. <laughs> Stingfish. Nice smile. Bob. Squid. Squid. Dolphin. <laughs> Slipstick dolphin. No, we haven't seen an elephant yet. And there's a lot of species left. I think it has to be like a subsequent. Um, Scenarios. There's two scenarios left. Penguin. Penguin. Weasel. Weasel. Octopus. <laughs> that's not an author, that's Hideyoshi, the, the faithful companion of Nobunaga. Whoa! Four of them! Man, I hate fleas. The, the weasel, I don't even know what, what they tried. Uh, the... Whoever designed this, they like. Rabbit. Mm, rabbit. Oh, sorry. Bull, oh, how this will be imposing. Tanuki. Oh, how many floors? Monster balls, did I miss monster balls? Come on, man. There's no way. Let's go back immediately. Holy shit! Okay, I get it now. Ostrich. Ostrich. Pretty alright. It's like snake. Ostrich. Squirrel. Squirrel. I've seen worse. I'm pretty sure I saw these in a zoo. Exactly like this. 
God said we're going to make animals in another planet, but they just fucked up versions of the ones on Earth. And also bring them back. Yeah, I'm scared of what's going to happen. Like, okay, I press the rewind button. I didn't even know I had a rewind button. Okay. I like the music changes according to seasons. Okay, let's see Linda's father, the deadbeat dad. the medical center. Oh yeah, his father was a junkie with Hustle Free. Talked about him, I think there was NPCs talking about how his father was a bum, a junkie. ジョーさんは連邪隊の同僚かい。おいおいおい。よく見たらリンダじゃねえか。どうしたんだ。その格好は。ははは。便の入れ知恵だろ。人を食ったような子だ。あの狸のお箱だ。ははははは。あいててて
Godstone Tablet. <laughs> I can't. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Took her like 20 years to realize. Oh, I need a break from this game, seriously. <laughs> I need a break from this game. Oh no, my father is dark skinned. I didn't realize. So uh, what was in the tree already? It was... Her mother is called... Fuck, I have screenshots. Oh, my little screenshots. No, it was Anne and Jean. And his name is Hume. This means Jean, which was the husband of Ken's mom, and Anne, who is the mother of Linda, definitely hooked up. And Linda was born from like. Ken's father and well, Linda's mother, of course. But Ken is adopted, so it's not the it's not a sweet home Alabama, because Ken is adopted. Did you catch your brother? No, I didn't catch Santa Claus. If you donate to Charity, then please call me Charity. Here. Yeah. We are progressing the story. Fear, take a wizard. Shit. Yo, I got money! Here, take a tanuki. No! No! One hat, thank you very much. Because a lot of my subjects here are female people coming with them monthly. Yeah, I didn't want to know this. Why does this weird game have such a good OC? I don't know. Well, until... Until the Christmas song comes up. There's an hotel among beasts of an illusive creature that appears in snow stars. Not that it matters around here, snow doesn't fall around these parts. Ah wait, this the advent of a dream reaper the cause of neo Kenya strange weather? Instead of snowfall, we get a falling meteor. It has to account for something. Yo, I got tissues. Surely it's for to blow your nose, eh? No one else has booked today besides you. Feel free to make as much noise in there as you like. Just jingle bells on repeat, yeah, pretty much. A 
think they made their own version. Jingle bells. Uh, let's see if there's animals to catch. Okay, there's nothing here. Hmm. I guess getting three frogs. Should be my next priority. Okay, I got everything here. We only need a few more species. I don't think I got to hear my feet. Let's see. Maybe these are monkeys. No, I got hermit frogs. Uh... My issue is like when you over level, uh, I don't know how to capture uh, monsters, animals, because I just make them blow up instead of. capturing them. No, did you put them? Yeah, they're dead. So I should be able to finish this scenario soon, right? Like in the next hour? Attempt to seduce male foes. What? what I just saw in text. Yeah, these guys are pretty good. Hmm. I think this place is pretty much cleaned, I would say. At least we're making some progress, which I'm enjoying. <laughs> we spent like the five out of six hours last time just capturing shit. Stray dogs along the southern coast. We didn't capture dogs. I mean, have dogs, but. <laughs> Thank you. The ACU is full. Okay. Can need a female dog. Okay. 
car à golem. Ah, on a mis skeletons. <laughs> Cannot feed them. Too many dogs, I'm sorry. I got dung. Nice, I got four gold. Why are you running? I'm gonna have to release so many. Uh, get that rabbit out of my face. Get that rabbit out of my face, okay. I didn't know there was a limit too. <laughs> How many animals you could have? Okay, so one species captured already. Now we just need one more dog. I think this game genuinely has like the funniest battlefield ever. Tech. I'm scared. Nothing. Am I full? No. Alright, oh, Crab Lord, thank you very much. Thank you, have a good day of work. Finish this scenario for this stream, and then we can get to scenario B and C. And we have like what four days? Oh, he got demolished. She got demolished. At least I can uh, skin them for equipment later on. So what else did she have? Uh, did she have butcher? Or was it can? One who went for an absolute power. I didn't swallow the monster. Thank God I finished the synthesis. Oh. There was a butcher skill apparently I learned. Maybe it was the.
Damn, I'm getting so many... Lizards. I hope they make for some good equipment. Is it raining outside? No. So peace, it was a female dog I needed and then So many. Uh, only have one mole, so. Antak rabbits. Snake! Delki. Ah, my god. Thanks to all the budget cuts, I'm the only watchdog here, but I earned my keep until my contract is paid. Keep your money, kid, I'm all the security this place needs. At least I hope so. What the fuck are you doing here? Based on the limestone found in our feet survey, this was an underground lake roughly 100 years ago. They determined it was a habitat for one currently extinct species of animal. In theory, their eggs had plated structures and could survive lengthy dry seasons. Our experts think this species could be revived if water sometimes for a lake. If we go to dig even one meter deeper, I just know what's trapped water. Project costs have been killing the effort, but we'll find a way. Water can be shut out tomorrow and all the cute animals will swim in it. We'll see. I didn't expect to see something like this. <laughs> what is this?
Get these shoes in the mood to work, I guess. Let's see, we can count the seconds now and go crazy. Alright, <laughs> check if it doesn't like. Two days, 14 hours. Wait, two days? The fuck? We are in like 5th of March, no? I guess they count like midnight. Well, I won't play immediately like at midnight, midnight. I need to get uh, the physical copy from Amazon. Yeah, I saw that there were uh, romance options. For girls and guys. Um. Uh, I'm sorry to men, but uh, this is my wife effective immediately. Okay? I don't know what to say to everyone. Unless big woman is also romanceable. Now you might ask, who is big woman? This is big woman. We don't have art, but the sprite is here. And there's Marf, Empire Emblem, and Ramza. And a big woman. Whichever, okay? If both and uh, I take both, okay. I'm very open. <laughs> Fucking excited for this big woman, exactly. I'm gonna be honest, I already know this is going to be one of my favorite games of all time. Maybe the story is not going to be all that, but everything else. As someone who has played strategy RPGs, I cannot see a future where I don't think this game is going to be a, a masterpiece. So I guess I have like three days. No, I'm sorry, chat. I'm not going to play like exactly midnight. Uh, maybe I drink the midday friends for me, so it's going to be like uh, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m. for like the USA. So I'm guessing uh, scenario B or C, we're going to see water here. Uh, I try to not spoil myself for you, Icon Overlord. But... I'm hype. Since I wasn't too far ahead, I might just we start from the start so I can have works better for us in the US. Nice. Oh, 
Odi smo napis fakom. Masi. We got the lady dog, I think. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got. And we got the lizards. I'm just looking if there's some additional chests. And of course, Linda needs levels. She was at level 3. Okay, level 11. That's good. These dungeons give me anxiety, man. Sometimes we are like in too deep in a dungeon. You're like, I'm like, I need to go back. I don't feel safe anymore. Mommy, where's the exit? <laughs> That's basically me in a RPG dungeon when I'm like somewhere for too long. Linda open Ken's mouth and put him the pill. <laughs> open your mouth, open your mouth! So that's two species done. We need to find uh, our evil twin, Santa Claus. And kill them. I'm sorry, brother. God, this reminds me I want to play uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 again so badly. I'm waiting for a Master Collection to be like 30 bucks at most. The remaster, quote unquote, being 720p in PlayStation 5. Shameful. No respect. It's the same resolution as like the PlayStation 3 version. It's like we are two generations removed. Come on, it should be at least like 8K, 120 FPS. To be honest. I could play it on emulator right now. It's just that I wanted to have achievements, but actually I might just play it on emulator and then say fuck it. Oh. That is a very good question for the effects. Very, very good questions. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's turned It's like uh, when you consume your turn. Thank you. 
Yeah, when it's race your turn, when it's red, you consume your turn, when it's yellow, I wish I knew. Yeah, yeah, we have a VAI is like, yeah, we're going to attack the one who flew its HP and just focus on the same ally again and again and again. I feel like this part of the script. Outer sneakers. I'll take it. Let me double check something. So there is a sound for okay, 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 okay. Tired of your lizards. Fifteen dogs. This is so saga coded. Romancing saga. You get so armor so good. Since you can skin them, skin them for armor and stuff. So. 
Also, so far, I didn't have the equivalent of a boss fight. A combat just Rafias. It's going well. Uh, we are hunting dogs. There's nothing. Okay. And now we just need... Nothing, I just need to find the exit and I don't know where the exit is. Um. What is this? Fleas. They're fleas, right? Veins of everyone's existence. <laughs> One season remaining. Species for issue 5. Well, we got two, right? Let's go, it's spring. We should get a, a new calendar. Wait, first. I'm not for a bite, okay, okay. What I need is a bite of coffee. Okay, let's fine. Linda's inner penguin awakened as penguin woman learned leak. If you say so. Twenty-seven species, say fifty. Okay, I just need three more species. The end is approaching. No, you're like in a, a storm. Means sound here a short message. It's like the demo, right? Okay, there's a lot of animals I have I need to skin. First, let's check if the calendar has a new model. We're in 93, right? Yeah. Let's go! Is that Linda's mom? That's Linda's mom, no? Booba. So we got Linda, Linda's mom, and Sachiko. I 
I can see that the countdown is kinda spilling out. It drives me crazy. Okay, now it's perfect. It's quick bleak run. Okay, the mouse has nothing to do later. I just saw the mouse on the OBS. No, no, I'm trying to change some settings. This has no... <laughs> I had my mouse like this. <laughs> I was trying to... I swear, I swear I was trying to change some settings, okay? I don't know why my mouse was even showing up. Yeah, Linda's mom stacked as hell. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll leave this in when I'm trying to get some, in some milk and a banana. I'm back. So I feel like now we are in a conundrum, right? Because each year we get a new person in the calendar. So maybe we should wait until the last year, you know? When the meteor is about to hit. So we can get all all the pinups. What's more important, the, the meteor destroying the world or 
the pinups of a calendar. You know? To be fair, we got Linda's mom, so... We're the one. Linda's mom who hooked up with... Ken's father. Lots of uh, adultery going on. Hello, Mr. Master Rex. Hi. Oh, well, it took 10 years to make. Well, at least the concept was like for 10 years, but we had other projects, so. They couldn't work on it like full time. Are they gonna pull a last minute? Linda's your sister? Well, Ken was adopted. So this means that Linda's mother hooked up with Ken's adopted father. So it's like halfway Alabama, halfway not, you know? But can you can overload very soon. Did we heal? So yeah, pre the physical copy of Unicorn Overlord on PlayStation 5. Amazon should send it to me. Um, during the day. So it should be morning for America. Like 10 a.m. or something. If I'm awake. Which isn't guaranteed. しかし、兄ちゃん、俺だよ。俺。友達を紹介したいんだ。みんなでゲームでもして楽しく遊ぼうよ。ゲームの商品は物本のリンダの記憶回復薬と。場所は腰肩。この世でたった二人きりの兄
These are sandals. Hmm. Should be able to make a weapon at least now. I would be surprised if it is doesn't benefit uh, Linda. Okay, she's up to speed pretty much. Yeah, some of the tunes are pretty good. I don't care too much about the battlefield. It's kinda hilarious tune. I need to skin some animals. Smoke très vite, no. Sell some Polar Bear ten eighty gold. Damn. You can actually get some money. No, nah, but I need to be car I need them to be carved. Drag Polar Bear. Oh, let's get. Meat. Okay, so now we have to go to the ghost town and fight our beloved twin, evil twin. Skin animals in there. Dog. Okay. 
Dog Blade. Oops, sorry. Met me like immediately. Okay, I'm missing hippos and turtles. Okay. I'm thinking about selling them later, back here. Champion card scrap paper. I'll take them just in case. We're going to try the tournament arc. Maybe we'll learn the uh, Latin gun or whatever. Oh, Naruto was my life when I was early teenager. Looked at it on TV. Then I decided to catch up with the manga since it ended. I wish I never did this. The last third of Naruto is fucking garbage. I was so mad. Dog, that's a wolf. Survive till the end.
Let's kill Smash Foods with that. Analyze wounds to recover HP. Come on, Ninda. What the fuck am I doing? Fuck, I will never do this. My dog fled. Mega Crab. La Bandit. I lose my money. Oh shit, man, this, way, they, they, this tournament attack was hard. The Koshikata, the elder in a white robe, beheaded all the village folk starting with his pregnant wife. He was found in church come morning, his clothes was stained red and he had a sack filled with his new toys. What the hell happened? This is the town we are supposed to go to meet uh, our evil twin. Oh, 
Okay, of stuff I can do. I made this one. Linda. Good luck with Fnuf. Seems cool. Okay, shouldn't be too big of an issue. Uh... See ya! Enjoy! The video game. Okay, let's find uh, let's fight our uh, dangerous burger. Why is this tree moving? Breaking Koshikata and Vils pride at Tiger Claw for Christmas exhibit. An effort to reopen the Beast and Village of Koshikata Village is new and there. Cannibal 32 announced a public viewing of their local treasure standing Christmas Day. That's also the due date for his expected twins, giving him free treasures to show up. Mm. And it was 15 years ago! And his pregnant wife that he beheaded had twins. Expected twins. Oh, so this is Ken and his evil twin. Neck. Okay. See, it works, uh, it pays off to talk to NPCs. So this is where he was born. Alongside Santa Claus. His evil twin. And basically the NPC said that the story is that 15 years ago, the elder of this village killed everyone and beheaded his pregnant wife who was expecting twins. So this means Ken comes from this village. And though the mother died, I guess we were able to get the twins 
Out to the belly. The dogs are scared of me. I wonder if this is how you finish this scenario. Hmm. Yatogotochaka. Now we need a Santa emote now. たちはここで生まれすぐに捨てられたんだぜ、兄ちゃん。今日は崖の頃一緒に遊べなかった分をたっぷり取り返すと。ゲームをしよう。商品はリンダの記憶を回復するのに威力する一年分。ルールは簡
That's it. Well, I guess we get a new species. Like my dogs are like higher level than me. It's okay. I love how Santa Claus. Uh, to make it look like these dogs are like scary and I'm just manhandling them <laughs> I think that's enough dogs. We should add one more. Linda scared. Linda scared
Tell me left. Uh, one, two, three, four. Polished with six appeal skill. Thank you. I guess. Definitely how the monsters, the animals just shit themselves and just run. They know who is the fuck. I was about to say they know who is the apex predator and then they just rush me. Shut tight. We're going to spend a long time here. Oh, we found a real exit.
Is this where our mother got beheaded by our father? Has to be here. Right? Nice tongue, mother. Yeah, oh, Migato. Ha, shocking or what? Oh, so, 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 にも兵を捨てるよ。その方が確実だからね。兄ちゃん、安心してくれ。俺、約束は守るタイプなんだ。薬はちゃんと飲ませておくよ。なんだよ、その顔は。そうか、分かったよ。He worked on the movie Akira. He's uh, nickname is Cannabis. ちょうどいいところへ来たみたいだな。あれ？ケン、おめえ一人か？あは、またあの三太郎に。え、とくまんが来ないゲーム。ケン。ああ、ところでどこ行くんだ？ Okay. Yo, he joined my party, he joined my party. Oh, he's a good. It's a zoo out there. A wild pack of turtles have taken over the terrain around Battle Park. They were told she took special. I barely escaped with my life. If you're weak, camp and do business out here instead. Linda's power. I guess Foster Father, considering Linda realized like one hour ago that her father has a different skin color than her. <laughs> oh, that's weird. How could this happen?
Yeah, we promised. Linda's mother to protect Linda. Let's fucking go. C'est vers Turtles, ça vient de signer Turtles, mais... これだ。リンダは元気か。少しは何か思い出したか。とにかく一度戻ってこい。隊員の報告を聞くのは隊長の俺の義務だし、今後の対策も狙いにはならん。口にこそ出さんが、任務もお前たちのことが気がかりで。眠れないみたいなんだ。命令する。速やかに帰宅し、任務を安心させた後、本部の俺のところへ出頭せよ。以上だ。What about my girlfriend? My evil twin took my girlfriend. Let's fucking fly him. I don't care if it is expensive. Fuck, I fell down. More oh, paid. I thought I saw you in the Santa Duns the other day. Do you do hospital visits now? Hmm. Nah, Ken. No, together. Ore to Branco ni notte tanoshi ka? Of course. <laughs> okay, so top right is Anne, Linda's mother, bottom right is Hume, Linda's father, top left, Ken's father. Bottom left, Ken's mother. Mm. I think only top right and Nina's mother is like the biological mother. Wait, let, let's have uh, my mouse show up. Um, Oh no, you're not showing my, uh, my mouse. Did I see my mouth? My mouse. Fuck. Okay. Um. Linda. I'm pretty sure that her and him hooked up. And this gave us Linda. And I guess he ended up with her after. And I guess it was kept a secret that her and him were lovers. Him, Jean, is meme husband. 
right? But Ken is adopted, right? Hello Delita. This means that Ken is not the biological son of either of these two. So only Linda is related to... No, it's not over, it's not over, far from over. So Linda is related to Anne and related to Jean, I'm pretty sure. So there's some weird uh, adultery going on. But they're not related. Ken and Linda are not related. They're just like, he's adopted by these two. So basically, Ken's adopted father shagged her and gave Linda. So it's like halfway Alabama, okay? I hope it helped. He was here. My evil twin was here. What do you mean Linda's my bride? My evil twin is stealing Linda from me. We shall not stand. We might be end close to the end of the first scenario, but there's still two more scenarios after this. Give me my fucking money. Wait, first. Yeah, that's okay, Tanaka, exactly, exactly. This is Anne. We, we need this to get our moral up. Hey, it's あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
それまでは足りん動くなよじゃあなこっちリンダは俺とケンだけで立派に取り返してみせるさ Hell yeah と言いたいところだがまあ期待しないで待ってるからなるべく早く来てくれよベンさっきはちょっと言い過ぎたよ忘れてくれそういやヒュームあの失踪事件以来アンも行方不明この事件が片付いたら俺がアンに復縁の話取り持ってやってもいいぞありがてえけど俺たちはもう手遅れさでもアンはいつでも胸の中にいるんだ今の俺にはそれで十分よお前がそういうつもりなら他人が口を出すことじゃねえなちょっと待ってみんなにしたらゴーゴーゴー。For good luck, let's go. We need to kill this evil twin. Fucking sucks. What? Just to test it, I'm going to open the door with Linda. Bridge the door will open. I'm going to open the door. I'm going to open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. ファンとしては一度行ってみたかったんだ。あ。コースセット J ワンゼロワープナイ。Surely they mustn't be far, right? I don't think they're in space. Huh? Why is he able to use my shit? Because he's my. What? Let me save. There's some shenanigans. Steps. What? Let me check the airport.
Hmm. Run hope can run home. What the hell? Damn, that's not where I need to go. Le radar c'est nos sports. Hello Broly. Thanks for being a cute. So far, I'm I think I'm close to the end of the first scenario. Why am I smoking? Neck plus Linda. Oh, that's why he was here. Change neck to Ken. Hell you fucking. Got him. That was Ballsy Neck scraping a name of the tree and carving yours on it. My mouth. That's why he made a stop here. Hmm. Do you think he's going to buy like a, a winning dress or something? I know I'm broke, but, but come on. Hey, when we can, would you a Santa Clan man just put one of our luxury goons and left a message for you? Make sure you come for a wedding reception. Bro, he's going to steal my fucking girlfriend from me! to give them a wedding gift, you know, they deserve it. Okay, where are they now? Fish Akuza 8, nice. GG's. I saw the temple. Those work have GPS. Now they put um, the captain put like a, a tracker on Linda's costume.
pièces over the town. Two floors from here. What the? What's going on now? I hope I'm not going to spend one hour trying to find. I want to finish this game. I mean, the, the first scenario. Maybe I have to go from the other side. Played Laika? No, I haven't played Laika. What the? Whoa! Oh, it's okay. this I'm going to play a uh, unicorn overlord and then dragon's dogma too so it's going to take me some time what is this enemy Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff coming out. Ash. Exit. How the fuck do we get here? Well, the winning is going to start without me. Girlfriend gone. Man, he bought the wedding gown. When I'm broke as fuck. Damn. No respect.
Thank you, Broly. See you later, if I'm still here. Which is a monster, which is a parasite. People buy and sell everyone around here lives and dies by their businesses. Uh, my evil twin stole my my girlfriend from me and bought her a wedding gown when I was too broke to buy before. So uh, we're cooked. Maybe. people find happiness. Likewise, rich people can also eat little and be skinny. But you've got to look at ratios. Richer people are usually much rounder and much happier. Thank you. My girlfriend back there. I wish I found a girl who cherished me so much she'd want to find me as a class A animal. But such a girl doesn't exist. Okay. Let's go back up. Have you noticed these letters on the rich photo in the animal bible, C, F, R, B? Class A animals are protected, which means the feds stepped in and banned any crabbing of them. Which sucks because class A is a hot seller in this town. Pure rich on the other hand are disposable in the eyes of the feds, like pigs and you and me. The artificial satellite that fell in South Korea was actually a nuclear missile. The feds write cover-ups all the time. No one can prove it, it wasn't some hit on a person late in the highways. We know that have zero problems mass nuking civilians to hit a single target. It makes you wonder whom. We get a lot of customers here, especially among new rangers. Nothing says doorbuster like poachers rolling in with fresh class A animals, am I right? Humans made a shtick of killing animals for taste over hunger. The universe doesn't need this stinky planet anymore. That's why EAT is coming for us. Has anyone seen my girlfriend? A 
I saw a picture of Book of Earth when I was a kid where the Earthian animal names matched Neo Kenyan animal names. However, none of the illustrations match our animals. Can't the nomenclature afford to be universal? We're not too friendly anymore with animal traders if you catch my knife. And we have squids. Let's get the hell out. Rental traps. Where's the church? My girlfriend is being stolen over a case of stolen identity. Flower that eat dogs. Where did they go? Why were they there to begin with? You know why they were there. I need my wife back. Linda Cube without Linda.
Doesn't seem to be any you know, reason I went there. And I'm pissed about my wife. in far side. He's as, he's as good as dead. It's fucking good. No one steals my girlfriend from me. Just so you could tell where they're going, well, did she grow up stunning or what? I'm gonna ask, well, because she was wearing a wedding dress of a ranger uniform, is that like a thing? Not the love hotel, man, please. Okay. I was scared for a second. sound Maybe my ears are shot because I didn't hear anything And nothing is not music okay.
I know if I was dog divination. Oh yes, it's oh no, it's like Eterna I don't care about money, I just want my girlfriend back で、俺たちを待っているようだな。歓迎の準備も万端ってとこか。ミスミス罠にはまりに行くなんてクリスマスどころかゴルゴダの丘を登る気分だぜ。こいつに着替えるんだ。ここじゃこっちの方が目立たないからな。ヘリ。インコンスピキュアス。デイリングチは左右に一つずつ。正面に一つか。よし、こうしよう。オッケー。二手に分かれるぞ。ちょっと待って
これがこの女の正体さ自分の若さを保つために50年もの間ビースちゃんの若い女の体液をすすり続けてきた妖怪だ<笑>さてと次は兄ちゃんの番だ What the fuck? <笑> the fucking spider 顔の上で決着をつけようぜ生き残った方がリンダと一緒に箱舟に乗るってわけださあこっちだ兄ちゃんついてきなさい俺さリンダときっとうまくやったわわわわわオレワネミちゃん。あんたが学校へ行ったり、友達と遊んだりしてたけど、死体を探してたんだよ。ママの喜ぶ顔が見たくてさ。エリザベッツ。あ、ディスワスハー。フォースター・チャイルド。死体集めはつらかったよ。それに、あの頃の俺は真面目でさ、手を抜く方法も知らなかった。探すより作る方がずーっと簡単だってことにもっと早く気づいてればな。もっと早く気づいてさえいれば。For fucking f i f t e e go the fuck to school, man, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's discuss this, okay? You're talking about my girlfriend right here, okay? You're chilling me! We need to kill him. I need my girlfriend back, I swear. Do I can address it? Orega me tatted the atom. Nakana canamon that, eh? Tokoronga Linda Nats. Orega Nanka Katia Tavini call you no, sir. Yeah, who can? Adding a token. I still walk in. Can, 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 can. けん今日からあんたになるのさ。わ<笑>お。なあ兄ちゃん、俺たちの母さんもこんないい匂いがしたのかな。<笑>これでよし。鍵もかけたし。オッケー。そろそろ決闘ごっこを始めようか。I have two dogs. Daigo, what the Akira does. Not a bit of Tanoshima. Tano, eh? Ah, Kakatra Shay. Ora, do star. What? Go to go to.
ほらどうしたほらどうしたこっちこっち。あ、もう fucking やりまったね。I love how there's so many question marks in chat. わけのわからんことを抜かしやがってキーワードは結局聞けずじまいかケンお前あてがあるなら思いつくだけ言ってみろリンダ世界中で一番お前が好きだそうきなすったか<笑><笑>窒息するかと思った気分はどうだみんなずっと見てた見てた<笑> We are so back 乾杯とりあえずリンダの記憶の回復も順調のようだしこれで箱舟がやっと動くこれからはお前たちも安心して動物集めに専念できるってわけだ
あそういやなんか静かだと思ったらうるさいやつがいないなゲームはどうしたヒットヒュームの野郎だ大口叩いた割に肝心な時にいなかったもんで気にくいんだろうぜ<笑>パリキュームかお前どこで道草食ってやがんだうん二人ともこりいるえモニターああつなげるけど終わりすこめなのけこれを読めばいいのか<笑>やめろあんに手を出すな読むからやめてくれリンダちゃんへパパとママはサンタのおじちゃんが預かっています楽しいパーティーを用意したのでケンちゃんと二人で遊びに来てください場所は遺跡のそばの赤い階段を登って雪の中を西へ歩けばすぐわかります早く来ないとパパとママを七面鳥の代わりに焼いて食べちゃいますよーだ<笑>来るなバナナしちゃダメだ<笑>や,やめろあんに何をするんだ<笑>あやめてお願いあやめてあ<笑>っ<笑>記憶が戻った途端に嫌な思い出も増える小原だね嫌な思い出といい思い出の帳尻を合わせるのはケンあんたの仕事だからねなケンウッドセーブユーアンアイスウェアウッドセーブユー I need to see the ending now. Yeah, this is Linda's mom. The one who got her, her ass beat. In the phone call. Panheim. Verbal statement. Shortly after her death of her husband, Elizabeth came to desire a tonal youth. I mix preservatives containing dozens of animal hormones to appease her. While it worked for the first three decades, its efficacy sharply declined in the fourth. Around then I acquired a bestian woman's corpse, which I tried to extract DNA samples from. The effects from said samples were better than expected. The new formula would last 10 years. To expand on my findings, I groomed two husser free addicts and tasked them with fetching more samples. Sadly, the Grim Reaper sent Neo Kenya's population into steep decline, stunting our workflow. I had new experiments underway when I happened upon Linda's case. That's when I got an idea. By studying samples of someone close to Linda, I could use them to demonstrate a new operation for Elizabeth. Uh, the second half. If 
Cruz and Kurt was found in the basement of a green mansion, that of Elizabeth's last husband. Did she preserve him like a mummy with an intention to revive him someday? Yeah, Ken, Linda. I wanted to talk to you for a moment. I wanted to talk to you for a long time, but I wanted to hear you for a long time.思えばエリザベスと私の最初の出会いは彼女が二十八で、私が二十六、二人とも若かった。エリザベスは小さな化粧品会社の社長、私は入社したての研究部員。私は奥手でね、二十六歳にして初めて人に恋したんだ。しか
We should be relatively close to the end, I think. I'm too invested to stop now. The end of like the first scenario, of course. Got the arc back. Oh, so we reach thirty spaces. Thirty spaces. Can Evil Twin finish the rest? I wonder for the subsequent scenarios you like start from zero again. I have no idea look, look, look. At this point I'm just here for the ride. Oh I see. What? What is the arc is done? Why we focus on Christmas? Bro? Just because she's crazy? Christmas is over. God effects must be so happy. There is no Christmas anymore. No jingle bells. So let's see where did she kept her husband. So she was locking them up here. Oh, what the fuck was happening here?
I never check there. I'm stupid. Maybe I actually do have to get there for the mansion. Oh? I'm guessing that you have to go to the G Factory for... What the fuck? Stop resisting. Okay, I'm guessing I have to go through uh, an underground of mentioned. Hello, it's CC. I'm glad that life is good. We are reaching the end of scenario A, I think. I think. The store has been going crazy like the past hour. They decided it was the moment to wake up. Also, you lose HP when you sprint. Hmm. 
Maybe I'm mistaken. It... This has absolutely nothing to do with... Uh... Where I need to go? How many frogs? This makes me so mad was just like too many of them. Oh, this one has 400. You see, uh, you missed uh, our girlfriend almost being stolen. Thankfully, we got her back. Um, took us a lot of effort. So. Crazy with his dungeons. A bear? He killed my dog. Expensive to get these dogs back. Actually, super pricey. I have no idea where that bear came from.
What? Was there fucking nothing there? Now I have to revive my dogs. Let's go back and see, first of all, how to revive my dog. This is what was a red temple and then you had to go left or something. Wow. Okay, let's save my dogs. See how the story continues, but me too. Sometimes it happens that you have no fucking idea what to do. Thank you. 
Oh, okay. I'm done. Oh, no. Okay. Whoa, penguins. I guess this area is not related to the way to get to a factory. If you check here, you can see a crack, so... Time to uh, check the word. You know, we need a double take. Take the red stairs near the temple. Take the red stairs near the temple. Tortugos. I feel like see some focus dungeon that has nothing to do with what I need.
Okay, I thought it was the way, but... I expected something else, but... So I have a storage key, but I cannot use it here. Sometimes I've been feeling that I could play untranslated games for the rest of my life and I would be happy. <laughs> Fly there or something. Yeah. 
I'm stumped for this one. Okay, I was right. Uh, it was below Eterna. First thing I had to look up because first time I had to look up something. This one was pissing me off. I don't like looking up stuff when playing RPGs. I did learn a few stuff worth seeing.
Let's go to Hospico. your belt. I remember when Linda was born, Hume, a new dad, came in one day and he asked me, why is Linda's skin color so much lighter than mine? Is she not my little girl? I explained that Bistian jeans, his wife's jeans, are far more dominant than his. He heaved an long sigh and slowly left the room. Oh! Oh! So Hume is actually the father of... Linda. Sachiko also lost her memory. Sachiko, how did you do it? It's a little bit of a way, but it's a little bit of a way. Linda-san, let's be happy to be happy. Purely is fun about friend. Okay, so we have to go back to the dungeon below Eterna. Where was that egg sheet? Uh, sorry, curse word. Was it in Parasite or was it in... No, it was in Oz.
Un studio sport. Un tailleur de bisex. You don't hatch them. Let's go back to... This entire ship is like made of wood and then a fleshy arena. Hello Crab Lord, uh, a lot of things happened. Uh, my evil twin is no more. And I thought I was lost, but I actually have to go below. The Eterna Laboratory. But I, uh, I was lost, so I thought it was the wrong way. phone call of an can you hear us beat so we have to save uh, Anne and uh, Hume Oh 
Deus. Can I actually finish the Shrewa arc? If you want all the last arc of the story is optional. Man, I want to know the story. I know I have enough species, but... I want to know how it ends for Anne. And as far as I know... Hume is actually the... Father of Linda. As far as I know, apparently Bistian have dominant genes. So Linda got the skin color of the mother. I thought Linda hooked up with Jean. Or whatever the husband of uh, the uh, foster father of uh, Ken. Oh, it's left open, I see, I see. So I could go both ways. Okay, so now we'll have to find where the hell... I would have said to not make him sad. Would he hide it? Crush was inside a prison. stuff like this. animals to serve us there. I wish we could use skills. Thank you. 
This time I got here, I went out. I ended up going into the next town over. So I'm guessing I need to do the opposite of what I was doing, but all these zones look the same. I cannot fly to the next location, I'll try. If I go too much to the right, I'm going to end up in the town. started
Should have built more stuff. Yeah, but this dungeon is like very, very, very big. No, it's okay, it's okay. Just uh, try to nail up until you find something. There's no random encounter, yeah? This with random encounters would have killed me. Up, down, up, down, just up, down, and down. I'm just going in circles. B1, B2. Let's 
chat Hugo Fervor Down. just leads to three different paths okay, okay so this is clear i don't have to go further down so b2 b3 i need to get b3 out of my mind so now it's all around b1 b2 and also Long one. There's no way up. Yes, I know it was a ton of enemies that would be fucking. This isn't the place. I keep going back here. It's an exit, just not the right one. Um, and I should have gone to, should have played uh, Vampire Hunter D on the PlayStation. species so I 
Schon wenig schön. I think that's the first time I got one shoes here in this chest. They didn't. Maybe I need the key item or something. some kind of entrance. Thank you Electra, how's it going? Uh, we are struggling.
Let's stairs. Talk about the stairs. Right? Fucking finally, man. Holy shit! Now let's save uh, in the spawns. Wait, what? Damn, this means I'm going to get my ass kicked. Okay, I did. It's gone after you enter the cave. Well, that little island. How do I do this? He moved to the uh, right. <laughs> Yeah. 
What does he do? What? Level 45. How are you supposed to know shit like this, man? The fuck is my NPC giving you information? Or? Gigantic will. Crocodile fell to pieces attacking them. Oh, this game is insane. Here, I'll cover this. My dog on the way. PCs tell you this stuff or like just have to like pray that's crazy I actually need meat bro I'm glad So she's not going? The music fuck me. This game is a shit person. Whoa! Is this a species? Oh, no.
quick check here. I got a bestian inside. Okay, let's go. 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 I think that's blood. Might be a wild guess, but... Holy shit, hustle free! We got drugs. Oh, they're making hustle free! Breaking bad. Is that Gino is that going to be human or Hello, fire is wet. I don't know what to tell you. I genuinely don't know what to tell you. Yes, this is normal, but like, I don't know how to explain this. Uh, this is actually very serious. Negative damage. I'm just making up shit. Now. Killer Santa. It's actually the end of the game.
やっぱり2対1じゃ分が悪いなさて約束通りまずパパに会わせてあげよう<笑> What? ママはどこだアンいないのかアン<笑>ママは行方不明かすまないなリンダパパが会場なしだからママに逃げられてしまったよあれこんなところにいたのか<笑>愛し合う二人はいつも一緒そいつが何よりだそうだろうアン早く逃げるのよ二人ともユームには勝てないうるせんだよこのアマはああ誰だ俺のアムこんな目にひどいひどいよ血が出てるよ死ぬな誰だ誰がやったお前らお前らだなよくも俺のアムをぶち殺してやる Okay. Oh, they should kill my dog. He likes it. To do about fucking 700 HP. Oh, I barely reacted, I was like, what the hell? This made me speechless. Oh. 
I love one damage. Thank God for push up resetting mouse. This means Annie's fucking dead. Oh. Can you can you give her back? Linda to Ore no Hada no Ironga Chingatemo Oreva Linda no Kotomo Aisteta Hontosa Nake Linda wa ii ko daro Honto ni ii ko da Yappari Ore no ko da yo na Holy shit. Ken wa atashi no soba ni zutto issho ni ite kureru yo ne. Atashi o ite doka ni itte attari shinai yo ne. Ne, Ken. Ah. Zutto issho da. Yakusok suru. What the fuck is this heavy as I knew this game was going to be crazy, but at this point, I didn't expect this much. Oh, she lost both her parents. both her parents. Bo Anne. <laughs> well, I guess we lost two. Because he was a junkie.
So everyone here is dead. Panham committed suicide before I could finish his statement. They're pinning me for it and I'm getting a pay cut. If only I twisted his leg a little more, maybe I could have gotten him to spill the recipe for an eternal youth potions. Strange, just a fruit wasn't found in Hume's body. But Panham's statement loosely implies otherwise. What? Holy sh... Man! What do you mean his body in half? Her self free. ああ、面白かったって思い出し笑いしながら死ぬ。女の人生なんてこれでオッケー。他のことはその時悲しくても結局大した問題じゃないんだ。それに世界中で一番あんたのことを好きだっていう男もここにいるしさ。ちょっと
I would have never noticed the island. any answers but I wonder how it's going to play out uh, over subsequent scenarios. So far we haven't heard about Jean, Ken's foster father, haven't heard about Sachiko didn't have a role. Right. So is that Sachiko got a boyfriend? I got the storage key, but I don't know where to use it. Uh... Let's check with Pico. So the birth father of Ken is killed. The mother and father of Linda dead. I guess all that's left is like the birth. No, the birth mother of Ken is also dead. Right. He came from the ghost town. His mother was beheaded by his father when she was pregnant, but I guess they still got the twins out. So basically, they're both orphans now. No one, none of them has their birth parents. Entire village, villages obliterated.
Não vou fazer nem difícil novo. Não vou ser tipo. ゲームズ I mean, so much crazy shit happened in the last four hours of this. Okay, I just want to check some places and then... Going to end this scenario, I guess. So much heavy stuff happened like that. It's the only thing left in the town that is worth.
Yeah, I'm liking it that much. Mm. We went crazy. Man. So hum 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 also rendered species extinct. So I guess this is why you're gonna get as much. And that was well with such light skin. Hume has always feared that she was in his skin. What's the elder? Guessing what happened here was Ken's father went crazy, killed everyone, beheaded his mother, was pregnant with the twins. Uh, Ken's twin was adopted by Elizabeth, who went asked him to get beast and blood. in order to stay young forever. Then he killed her. And then he wanted Ken's life. to say at this point I think we got everything out of this scenario. Um, 
I'm just going to reload the save and then get to the arc. Man, this took me like 15 hours to beat the first scenario. Isn't Ghost in the Shell still alive? Why is it that that game was the... Are you like two days late? Hello Takada. I played the game, it was fun. Or maybe I didn't get the joke. Yes, a PlayStation 2 game by Caviar. I played it, it was like 6-7 hours. No, the online Steam game is like... Uh, it was an FPS... Uh, it to play. No, there was a PlayStation 2 game. And I played 6-7 hours, pretty cool. I enjoyed it. And now I'm playing Linda Cube. The last like 3 hours, 3-4 hours were absolutely crazy. So now it's the end of this scenario. This game has 3 scenarios. And now I'm going to end this scenario right now. But I need to go to the bathroom. So uh, yeah, teasing.
Okay, I'm back, sorry. Alright, let's put an end to this scenario. I guess you can put furniture here. Hmm? Capture shit. What the f
目を覚ませ目を覚ませな,なんだ今の声は甲板へ出て外を見ろバカやめとけよ空気が大丈夫見て死神が Holy shit. Neotemia は今死んだ。現在 AMD 一九九九七月三十一日。船はこれより時間を飛ぶ。時間を。しっかり捕まってろ。レディーゴー。なんだこの船はネオケニアの復活はその死から2647万の21日後そこが行き先だ目をそらすなお前たちの目指す世界はいつもそこにあるこの星はネオケニアじゃないのかあれは死神に削り取られた近くが引き合って新しい月まさかこの星はわっ I thought we were traveling through time. Thank you, Taka. Well, it's only one scenario of three, but this was crazy. It started as some kind of anime slapstick comedy, like. And then it ended like this. <laughs> Man, so much happened, I don't even know what to say. The entire Christmas thing is like. nuts. I liked it though. I like the tone shift between a comedy and then just some of the most insane shit you have ever seen in your life. This game is nuts. <laughs> you don't see this often in Japanese RPGs. Super unique. What is the inspiration for this game? Because you cannot even say it's inspired by Evangelion, right? Who least in the same year than Evangelion. Let's go 1 to 10 how edible are the monsters in this. Well, I eat a lot of meat, so. Very edible. An 8. So basically, at the core, is like Ken and Linda being made to be together. Right? 
I did score his exo love story. And the fact that they are part of the arc is basically, you know, like every other species we captured, male and female, it's like, it's also the preservation of humanity. Eh? Yay! Everyone died, yay! Michel script didn't even have Linda in it. Damn. I wouldn't have known. If the game is called Linda Cube, what the hell? Zoo at the beginning. I don't know what they cooked for the story. But... So we only did scenario A, Merry Christmas. <laughs> so now scenario B is like Happy Child. Which I guess you have to capture even more species. I have no idea what the scenario is going to be for this one. I don't wanna know. Don't tell me. Show the intro cinematic at least. No, we are not going in. No, we are not going in. I've been streaming for nine hours. Hmm? よ。隊長からよ。本部の2階の会議室まで3つ数えるうちに来いって。3、2、1、go。ほら、早く行きなさい。Well, he didn't say he wanted to become a pilot, right? Meal dog. the same picture okay Back to Linda. 
らけん、つっ,ってないで入れ。会議の趣旨は分かっていると思うが、簡単に説明しておこうか。ああ、みんな知っての通り、この星に八年後、ちょうど旧サイズの隕石がぶつかる。そう、通称死神、こいつだ。学者先生の予想では地上の生命を完全に消し去り以降2万年はどのような形の生物も住めなくしてくださるそうだ、うん、おかげさまで脱出プロジェクトの方は我々の貴重な休日を奪いながらも順調に進んでいるさて問題は箱舟こっちの方だ俺の誕生日の翌日だったからちょうど1ヶ月前だなこいつは突然と姿を現したしかもとんでもないメッセージのおまけ付きでだ。メッセージの中身はこうだ。この星の動物を救いたい。ついては動物のオスメス各一匹。それに人間の男女を乗員として一名ずつ箱舟に乗せてほしい。もちろん、自ら神様と謎のやつの頼みだと無視するのが筋のはずだったんだが、どこでどういうことになったのか。連邦はこのヨタ話に、ゴーサインを出しやがった。おまけに、箱舟に乗りたいと言い出すこっちこっちまで出る始末。そう、そこにいるケウお前のよーく知っているあのリンダだ。彼女は、原住民ビーシャンとのハーフでもあるし、確かに動物集めにはぴったりだ。口は悪いが、無口な女よりマシだろ。性格も悪いから退屈はしないぞ。それに今時、飯をうまそうに食う。さあ、もうわかったろ。残るはリンダの花婿男性乗り込み1名経験不問一切の保証なし我と思わんものは手元のボタンを押してくれ強制はしない以上説明終わりケン、一応もう一度だけ確認するが、箱舟はどこに行くのかさえ分かってない。命の保証なんてはなからない。それでもいいんだな。よし、箱舟の男のクルーはケンで決まりだ。みんなも自分の業務の妨げにならない範囲でケンに協力すること。以上、解散ケン、何ぼーっとしてやがんだ。今頃になって悔やんでも、もう後の祭りだぜ。さあ、気が変わらないうちに、箱舟に行って、クルーの登録を済ましちまいな。ケン、紹介しとこう。この方は、箱舟プロジェクトの推進のために、連邦本部から来られた、カマオホサカタ。はじめまして、ケン。I guess this is the change from scenario A to B. Now it's the feds. Yes, clubs. Waka, if you are not sure, you are not sure. 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 You are not sure
でも私たち二人なら大丈夫今から証拠をお見せしますごめんなさいねケンちゃんうちの娘ったら昔からいつもあなたにばかり面倒かけて。たとえどんなことがあってもリンダを守ってやってね。No Santa. No, what I'll feel like I'm progressing too far into this scenario. I'll do when I wake up. We'll do scenario B. Scenario B. Of Linda Cube. It's been very fun. I'm glad we managed to do one scenario.、Uh, lots of stuff to think about, but it has been one hell of a journey in the 15 hours we spent on the scenario A of Linda Cube. <laughs> the last three, two to three hours went giga crazy. So, yeah. I guess we'll have even more of this. And maybe I'll be able to finish this before Unicorn Overlord.